Sleepy is the pupper who waits for the earnings call. What's going on guys? My name is Andrew. I'm here with you guys live and looking at AMC bouncing off that 200 EMA right now. We're taking a look at AMC up 5% and running at a high about $19.75 earlier. That's 25 cents away from $20. And that's not just poetry, that's math. I want to do the quick math today so that you guys don't have to for the live stream Q2 opening in about an hour and change we're going to make sure that you guys are all going to hear adam aaron go through the big of it exactly what exactly is amc up to first of all what exactly are you guys up to as you guys come in and slap that like early and often if you guys are here for the live stream it is here and if you guys are here because you're after the live stream you're in a good place as well make sure that you have already slapped that like on the way in and make sure that you guys are going out about and out of your way to be able to give that friendly doggo a pet on the back uh which means 200 likes he gets his first treat what's going on guys let's make that like counter equals the people that are in here. Tom Evaldson, Mike Soda, Doppelganger, Diamond, Knuts, Guerillionaire, and Hua Kyung Seo. My best. It's my best ant language. What's going on, guys? Pete Clark, first time I've seen you in month. Where have you been? Where have you been? I'm here. That's where I've been. Now, I've been writing my musical. I've been uh, uh, pursuing the, the best of my ability. My busy brain can... Uh, create uh, create work in a lot of different ways and that's the way that I've been trying to create it now let's see where is that next push going to come from you guys are looking at winners of the day on my left hand of my screen we got workhorse up about 12% Zila up about 11 and a half ATER about 10% new egg up about 10% coinbase up about 9% this is up roughly 90% as of let's see let's take a look oh yeah from 55 bucks up all the way up to 116 dollars today and now trending down at 88 28 coinbase had a bit of a short squeeze event let's take a look what barons was saying as you guys are coming in first of all say where you guys are from what up brother deviant ways we got jonathan lima we got john jonathan davila we got uh king's man 84 jeremy bordeaux we got uh ben fowler we got mal boja we got carla lafan and we got jm Usually we see some pretty big rug pulls, JM is already saying. Expect a rug pull on these earning days. Actually, we're looking at one of the best dang earnings days ever. We got 50 million in volume. That's on a three month volume average, about 42 and a half million. So not a lot, but not anything to scoff at. We got about a uh, market cap, about 9.91 billion. Previous close, about $18.21, which means we are up five and a half percent today and counting some beautiful charts here we got frank from tampa kingsman from rhode island sw3 hunter from sweden matthew soto from east los we got coolio saying what's up rhode island says i'll never let you i'll never tell you people where i'm from smart move otherwise you'll get doxxed smart move indeed we got uh carlo the fan from north alabama roll tide we have Kinky Kong and Sally. What's up? <laughs> Robert says, what's up? Haven't been around since last March. Glad to see Meatball is still holding. He is. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that dog. <laughs> Can I just see Meatball real quick? Look at him. He looks exactly like his, like his cartoon version. We got Ben from Hertfordshire. And then Diamond Knuts from Chi-Town. That's where I'm from. And Pip Depara from London. And Drew from Virginia, Drew Johnson. Guys, we're waiting for the meatball to get his very first treat. I will prime the cannon for you guys. I will make it a, a wholesome milk bone if you guys can get 130 more likes. That's just the number of people who are in this chat up to the number of likes in this video. That's pretty easy and the meatball will get his very first milk bone. I might have one. Maybe at 2,000 likes, I'll have one. Oh, it smells like grains. <laughs> Just like a shot of whiskey. Grains on this. When Lambo. We got South Alabama War Eagle. Uh, we got Jordan and Myrtle Beach. We got uh, Robert from STL. Jack the Mayor says, Meatball is like, why do you do this to me, Dad? 
support this. Okay? God, he's so talented. Triple threat. Balancer, professor, uh, YouTube star. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what else is he? Crypto expert. So in the very beginning of the morning is when we saw that 1975 peak above that 1965 level of resistance. Luckily, we still were able to map that. We basically knew exactly when it was going to turn around. Now we still have that 1965 holding us down. 1940 is when we saw another resurgence, a potential rip above. Uh, we could not get above back up to 1965. 1965. Jason Henry saying, welcome back to the live stream. LOL, Detroit. We got Raxius from Norway. We got Cleda saying Spain, Alicante. Odin's Nightmare 1, Chicago, but on the road working. He's been working on the railroad all the live long day. And uh see. I'll just keep the I'll just keep that uh that lovely events platform here so we know exactly when that earnings call is starting. In about an hour and change. We'll <laughs> Doppelganger says we'll hold you to that milk bone 2k likes later. Alright. Get your friends in here. We got 2,000 likes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what the fuss is all about. Jack the Mayor is saying he's being very patient. Reading from Estonia, apes. Whoa, he is being so patient. Because he's so, he's so ready for the earnings call. <laughs> Can't wait. Hamilton, Ontario, from Darth Uchiha. We have Andre says, cute dog. He is, he really is. What's happening with Bibug? With B B I G? Probably down today, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, ooh, it's halted. It be halt. Let's see what the biggest losers are today. <laughs> HKD down to 880 bucks. That was a good run while it lasted. Uh, let's see, Lucid down 10%, Mullen down 10%, Peloton down seven and a half. Ethereum down a percent and a half, Bitcoin down a percent and a half. It originally was going to catch uh, a resurgence, a little bit of strength at around 23,000. It unfortunately got a resist instead, Bitcoin falling uh, from that level of resistance. Tesla keeping the day about 924. Strength, despite the rest of the NASDAQ hurting. GameStop about a percent and a half up right now. Nvidia about a percent and a half. Neo about 3%, Tilray about Four and a half AMC. Yeah, that's our babies. About five percent right now. He's still waiting. Yeah, about three hundred of you in here. When that number of likes equals the uh, uh, number of people watching, then people can uh, chomp down. Let's talk about the Coinbase rally. Ninety percent rally from Barons here. Coinbase opened at $60 a share on Monday and traded above $116 at points earlier Thursday, a staggering rally of 90%. The move higher has come largely from price action on Wednesday when the stock jumped 20% on Thursday when the shares went up at another 18%. Investors are likely witnessing a short squeeze as driving the stock higher. So let's take a look at where uh, short, shorts are even. Are there even shorts on our Coinbase here? We got Super Agent in the house. What's going on, Andrew Momani? Edgar is saying, greetings from Latvia. <laughs> ah, Latvia. Ah, how I love Latvia. Okay, what am I looking at? Coin, I think. Or oh, coin. It is coin. Not on the NYSC, because it's on the NASDAQ. Got it, makes sense. NASDAQ. Boxing knowledge, what's going on? Thomas is from Austria. Euro Apes says Thomas, strong together. Yeah, I think Meatball uh, held on to it long enough. I will let him have it forward. You guys are about 70 likes away from 200. So, please do not adjust the monitor and slap your like button. Three, two, one, break! Good boy. Good. Look at him toss it, because he has no thumbs. He's got to toss it in his mouth. All right, where's Coinbase's short interest? Ah, 25%, okay. So significant, actually. <laughs> Let's look at the failed to delivers. 
Oh, significant actually. Okay. We have we have some good indications that, especially with the decreasing short interest now, that Coinbase did just have short squeeze. Small one to say the least. 100% is not much of a squeeze. Ah, <sighs> talk to me when it's 700%. <laughs> it's a little reference from last year. You guys remember that? A while ago. Second quarter earnings were passed. Well, definitely. Well, people are feeling real nice right now. Switzerland is watching from Pete. Alex says hello from Romania. We got Davidis from Lithuania. Uh, my hairpiece is here. Greetings from my rocket ship on the way to the moon. The Winnipeg checking in. Off duty says, hey, recently returned from Ukraine due to my injury caused by running away from Russian ARTY. Oh shoot, I left my job to go there and nearly depleted my resources to stay and help. I hope Squeeze is coming. Off duty, I did not know that was your backstory. Gosh, that's a scary story. Glad to see you're hanging in there. Super Agent says, next time in the Bay Area, my wife and I will have to bring Honey by to play with Meatball. My husky has shorter legs, so he is always says he's a giant Sheba. A husky with short legs? Tell me more. If you guys have pets that you guys want me to describe on this chat live, I sure would like to. I sure wouldn't mind it. You guys are looking down at this chart as the hourly chart on Coinbase right here. Let's see if we can see a similar rip in AMC during the earnings call. The yield earnings call. We got BTS sandwich in here. What's going on? Uh, Testlux says they found a lot of lithium at HYMC. Lwives saying apes dancing here, Lego. Jason says shout out to Meatball. Yeah, Meatball, shout him out. Meatball? This ball. Don't leave me hanging. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a good dog. He's pretty, he's pretty alright. I kind of like him. Not about you guys. About 45 likes away from 200, and then we'll give him another. I'll we'll give him another treat. We'll give him another treat at 350. It's a good number. Guys, hearing that music? Dun dun dun. You know what that means? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. That's when you know. Huh. Alright. I love having the monitor on so now I know exactly what you guys are listening to. <laughs> Hit that like. Uh, 350 likes. Meatball. It's a treat. Adam Aaron is gonna let Meatball pounce on some steaks soon. Says Jason. Jason Gopi. Jason Gopi. AMC Steaks? What does it say? AMC GME Nitess says, What's up, Andrew? Long time no see. Good to see you. My thoughts on Kramer's positive comments say more. Well, obviously, he can look at AMC doing so well this week and being like, AMC looks like it's going to do pretty well. <laughs> uh, I'm Callie Runescapes. Good name. Good name. Things well going well. Not gonna kill myself anymore. <laughs> Cheers. Jeez. You guys are the humor here. If when pounds means new Eldris Alba movie, I'ma gonna put I'ma open puts on popcorn man. Idris Alba movie. You're talking about You're talking about Sonic 3. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Even more knuckles. Uh, South San Jose native, and I've been holding AMC for 15 months. Not going anywhere, says Ryan Lagone. Jason says, my guy. Harry the Lion says, what does Lux say about AMC? You guys know you guys have Lux algorithm for 20% off, right? It's pretty cool. It gives you the buys. It gives you the sells. AMC returning back to our VWAP. It's gonna, it's, it's bound to happen. Thomas Beatty, thank you for the <laughs> delicious soup. Every soup Every super chat gets uh, a soup accom accompaniment, and will give Meatball one seaweed for the green. So he'll get to eat some green. 
That sound fun? All right, here it comes. Thanks for the soup. Here you go. You want it? Break. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> He's like, it's pretty umami, I guess. Ooh, mommy. When your market is closed, do your options clock still click, or is it uh, broken up over the physical time the market is open? Good question, Thomas. So it depends on your broker, but most of the time, if your broker isn't automatically exercising or changing your options, then you will have to go in and manually decide what to do before your options expire. You need to have control, full control. Uh, BTS says, I heard J-Hope's new stuff yet. More and Arson were meant for the squeeze. Yo, I gotta listen. I gotta listen to it. Uh, let's see. Kristen Gallo saying, hi, everyone. How's it going? Floor is broken, says Georgios. BTS sandwich. Kristen says, hello. Kelly Jenkins saying, meatball. Hard, hard. Anonymity22 says, hey, hey, Andrew and Professor Meatball. And Henok says, time is time. Time is time. It's true. Time never stops becoming time. That's one of the most important things for uh, time travelers to remember. Uh, <laughs> we're looking at AMC's Q2 2022 earnings webcast. Buy the deep, says Georgios. The deep from Amazon Prime Videos the boys let's talk about the boys which one of you which, which one of the characters do you think was the boy <laughs> <laughs> oh man well uh this is a message for um for any people who are just lurking on this chat who don't want to talk to me i'm very friendly and i will literally read your message and i will not judge you even a little bit I'm not even going to judge you even. Look at that green for AMC. Here it comes back over the VWAP. Come on, hit that. Sl slap that ask. Thank you so much. Master Roshi says, hello, Andrew. Love the hair. Thank you. I need a haircut. I do need a haircut. Why not? Steven says, is BBIG broken? It is. Someone someone halted its feelings. Someone gave, gave it a big old halt. Roblox up 2.5%, Amazon up about 2%. Uh, this is the end of the market pullback. Oh man, when I did five, six hours straight, this is when, this is the part of the day I was most ready for. I would have the bell in one hand, I would have the, <laughs> the drink in the other hand, and I would <laughs> smack them together. Did I just chip my bottle? A little bit part of the process, okay? Part of the process. Yo, what's up, John Hester? BTS Sandwich says, the shrinking guy made me laugh so hard with his tiny voice. Uh, uh, what do you think about Meagle? Okay, I like a Meagle. JS Justice is looking forward to the earnings report. Hope all is well with you. Hope all is well with you. Good to hear from you. Good to see you guys come in. If you guys wouldn't mind making that like button equal to the number of people in this chat. I won't say this anymore. I'll say this for like 15 more minutes. That would help Meatball get one more treat. You slap that like, Meatball gets a treat, and then we all um, and we all do a quick little dance here. Let me do a dance for you. Let me do the dance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this over here. Where is it now? Over here now? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Here we go, ready? Pretty good dance, right? Pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Yen Yang saying, long time no see. What's up? Chad the man. Andrew Mo Money, how you doing? Hello, Ape Nots. What's going on? Jared Rittenhouse says, I love you. Now, I'm not sure if I need that from Jared, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ding dong, ding ding ring bells is Night Cow. What's up, Night Cow? Good to see you. Uh, Zero Parrot, what's going on? 
Two liver transplants, 16 month ape. Love your streams and Professor Meatball. Jeez Louise. Hope your liver is now living. I'm living for that story. Uh, John says, when are you coming to Austin? When are you having me? <laughs> when you having me? Michael says, great dancing skills. Thank you. Appreciate it. Iboard Repair Aaron Harrington says, smash the like for Meatball, obviously. Lovely. Michael Chandler says, been here sub since last year, not leaving until Moas. Lovely. MGAM moving up now. All right, some people, some of you have asked me for other stocks. Let me take a look. MGAM. No, that's the wrong stock. GAM. About 10%. Let's go out a little wider. Let's go wide. Oh, was that 20 bucks earlier though? <laughs> so 20 bucks like <laughs> the beginning of this week. What does it say? Nice close today for MJM. <laughs> well, mm -mm. Jason Tantillo, good to see you. You see the little platinum uh, meatball coin next to his name. That means that he is in. <laughs> he is in. He pressed that join button next to that subscribe button. And he always slaps that like button when he comes in the chat just to give meatball the treat. You know what it is. 100 more likes and meatball gets to have a tasty little, 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 little milk bar. <laughs> Can't stop making my myself laugh. We got about eleven minutes left. Ah, it's just good to see you guys. Good to be in the same room. Very wholesome energy is what we all is what we're here about. We got uh, we got Max Payne from Aaron M. Mile High City Crypto says, "Man, they want AMC underneath nineteen for close." Princess Little Piddle says, I'm not gonna lie, gonna need more Professor Meatball. Treat time? I heard treats make AMC and GME moon. Absolutely. So you see that pinned comment in the chat? I'm gonna need everyone to press that like button at the same time to bring this price action up. Ready? We're about 2.5% up right now. AMC is about $18.70. Let's go. Press it. Oh shit, you guys are pressing it. Oh god, you guys are pressing it now. You guys just pressed it. AMC is already finding some support at $18.71. Looks like that's the lowest that we are going to be going for the next few minutes. Let's take a look at the push. Push AMC. Pushing back up to $18.84. That's the next level of resistance. Already feeling like that is going to give us some trouble. John Pinto says, Will Smith the like button. All right. Uh, double A D D B. Hey Andrew, why don't you talk about DRS and computer share? Can you share your opinion about DRSing and the for the float for GME? Been a fan of you for G and Professor Meatball since you started streaming. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's a it's a great idea. It's about data. It's about how much how much accountability is in the markets, and right now there's not a ton of accountability. So anything that adds to that is okay in my book. Okay. <laughs> magnet, please, says Georgios. Okay. We can draw a magnet button. Can we get a little a little monkey with a little tail uh, and a little magnet on his tail, and he's pulling the magnet, and then the little tail is um, showing us how far the magnet can go. I sure like to see that. Wouldn't mind seeing that. Okay, so you guys are slapping that like. You guys are ready to, to, to chat about the earnings call. A couple of you have already seen that uh, the four minute video that I made about the earnings call yesterday. Let's just take a look at what I even talked about yesterday. Earnings call, AMC. We are up about, geez, oh, like a bunch of percentage points from last week alone. So it's already looking pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll get this one. Scheduled to announce Q2 earnings Thursday, August 4th. That's today. Consensus EPS estimate is down 23 cents, which is up 67.9% year over year. And revenue estimate is up 1.18 billion, which is up 166% year over year. Over the last two years, AMC has beaten EPS estimates 63% of the time and has beaten revenue estimates 88% of the time. So it's pretty much always a good, it's always a good report. 
Yo, we guys are about 40 likes away until Meepaw gets his next treat. I'm going to put it on his nose. I'm going to. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Look at his patience. What's up, peeps? It's Yan Rudchenk. Me Meepaw, wait, 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 wait. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Almost lost his feet. Don't move. Good boy. Eh. <laughs> he has the patience to hold. And just like that, AMC is back above its resistance. Holding tight at about $18.80. It really wants his last seven minutes to be as intense as physically possible. Yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. Nista crabs. Okay, so we have about nine likes. The next treat is gonna be at 600, 600, 600 likes. I think you guys are doing it. I think I already see 350 likes. So there goes Meatball. You can have it, bud. <laughs> you can have the treat. <laughs> Go ahead, Meatball. You earned it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thanks for the, for smacking that like, guys. Meatball appreciates it. Gives him a treat. Tasty. Twenty million subscribers, no video says I need m mother of all short squeezes to pay my child support. Baby mama tripping, yo. AMC just gapped at the fifteen minute. Looks like we are now filling that space between our support here at eighteen dollars and eighty cents and the VWAP currently at eighteen dollars and ninety five. And close above nineteen dollars. That would be nice for Thursday. And of course, there's no options involved because it's Thursday, not Friday. AMC says Andrew and the girlfriend with the cool laugh. Can we get a cool laugh real quick? No, no, we can't. <laughs> Almost a thousand of you in this chat, which is pretty cool. Which is very nice. Mr. Money says, you do a lot of talking. It's true. I wish Meatball could talk instead. <laughs> I wish I wish I could just sit quietly and smile. Oh, Meatball. He's so good at smiling. Do, 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 do. Audience members may arrive 15 minutes in advance of the event's scheduled start time. Well, I'm here much earlier than 15 minutes. Uh, Hi, Carrie says, what do you think about using a multi-band compressor expander to filter mean-centered oscillators? That's a good question for Lux, actually. So like I said, you got 20% off of Lux algorithm. It gives you the oscillators that are already involved in the meta context of like the data that you have to crunch in order to make sure that your analyses are in this in the right scope that's the worst part about trying to do these analyses yourselves is that you have to worry about scope and so you're like okay so do i look at the four minute chart do i look at the 10 minute chart what do i even look at well, the best thing is that you get these cell signals and these buy signals no matter what type of chart you're looking at so this is hkd right you would have gotten the cell signal at a pretty reasonable uh 2100 and then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have been holding until eight hundred dollars, which is where HKD or AMTD, if you guys know it, uh, by its American ticker, is right now. Let's take a look at the AMC. And again, look, I don't even pay for the for trading view, so you don't have to pay for trading view. And you can get these buy and sell signals on top of the free software. Use the code Andrew Mo Money in the description down below. It's the first link in the description. So we got that buy signal on AMC on the five minute chart, about $18.50 ish cents. A strong buy signal, too. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Money says, Andrew, you remind me of one of the characters in the Jetsons comic show. Jetsons comic show. 
Man, does that age you or does that mean that you're like a real, a real hipster, perhaps? What's up, Andrew Moen? He says, Joe Rear, good to see you. What time is the call, says Mike? Well, let's take a look. It's in 47 minutes. Hmm. Pete says, can you say the word and five times in one sentence while making sense? I can I say one word and five times in one sentence? Can you say the word and in five times one sentence while making sense? Oh yeah, of course. That's super easy. I like beans and meatball and hot dogs and whiskey and <laughs> I actually can't think of five things, so I guess I guess you got me. ETS sandwiches, HYMC order, can't get filled at current price. Interesting. AMC number four at Wealth Simple says Luke Waltman. Kristen says, guys, I got approved for options. I'm too scared to try it. You get approval for options, but you are too scaredy. AMC getting one last push from the shorts. Pushed into $18.60. There's not much support here, but I wonder what will what will naturally happen because bulls are gonna try and, and gap this back up to $18.80. I just don't see how it would happen, but I do have less than 60 seconds on the clock. When I when I uh, hit this bell, it is going to make a ding dong sound. So if if you have animals in the room, like a dog who doesn't like ding dong, uh, you probably want to cover their ears, and if you haven't pressed that like button yet, this is probably one of the last reminders I have for you. Do press it, helps get a shoot ton of people in this, and uh, and it makes Meatball get another treat. We're looking at another treat at 600 likes. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just trying to press this bell real quick. How about 600? Yeah. All right, press this bell. Here it comes. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we are now looking at the end of the day. AMC closed two and a half percent up, but it is not done. After Hours is going to have it be even wilder. We can have wildness past what we saw the last few days. It is going to be a sweltering ride of GameStop about a percent and a half up. The AMC up about two and a half percent. Who are the other winners of the day? Uh, we have Newegg up about 12 percent. Workhorse up about 10 and a half. Coinbase up about 10 percent. Ooh, we have any big ones. AMD is up to a hundred dollars right now, up about five and. 0.9% Uber and a couple of other Nasdaq friendly uh, friendly friends are up 6% or so. We're now going to do the big old countdown, which means it's time for Do You Know Trivia? <laughs> do you know what you're about to expect with the AMC earnings call? You probably don't, which is why I am going to ask you now. <laughs> okay, so first question. <laughs> First question, you guys like trivia? Uh, if you do like trivia, send me your favorite trivia emoji. What emoji feels the most trivial to you? And then let me uh, let me tell you something about Q1 earnings recap. AMC Entertainment first quarter earnings showed revenues rebounding even more sharply than expected. The company cut losses to 337 million. This will be on the test. Uh, compared to a year loss of a year ago loss of 567 million as its business sought to return to normal from the COVID-19 pandemic. The movie theater recently bought back, and here's the first trivia question, how much debt? How much debt? If you're basically right, I'll tell, I'll give it to you. And uh, let's see, let's see what else everyone's talking about. The past few days, AMC earnings have, have, um, have uh, a not nice thing. Big delays is Hillionaire. You like jazz? <laughs> I do like jazz. What's good? Don't be so salty. We got, uh, we got, let's see if I can just change this ice packs configuration. My computer hot. Uh, let's see, 500 mil says Fred Smith. That's not right. 43 mil, 
That's not right, says Night Cow. Uh, 100 bananas, says Limit 22. That is not right. Uh, MD Dugar. You might be right. <laughs> Joseph Lennon has the same answer. That seems to be right. Carrot Ancient is wrong with 337. Ma Maurad, 90 mil. Not quite right. Sam Martin, even more specific, 72 and a half million. That sounds right. Prime Time Future, 70 mil. That sounds right. Okay, 72 mil for Brandon. That is correct. So we have about 72 and a half mil repaid from its debt. That's on a big discount too. Adam Aaron said that they will continue to seek creative and meaningful strategies to further strengthen their balance sheet and create value for their shareholders in the future. AMC saw a sharp surge. What is the largest surge AMC has faced? We are up 2.5%. AMC had just crossed over the 200 EMA. Do not adjust your settings. We are looking at AMC climbing right now. We're looking at AMC up at $19 and... <laughs> $19 and... <laughs> I'm pressing down on my keyboard. Don't press down on my keyboard. Okay, AMC just gapped up to $19.20, which is where that level of resistance is. Probably gonna face a little bit of a pullback down to $19 for the EMA, but we're now bouncing, look at us. Look at us, just like, a, just like in our youth, we're bouncing up and down. Come on guys, take a look at that. AMC up at $19.20 and pushing. Could be owing up to $20 as we speak in the after hours. Pretty okay. Boom, boom. Can we get one candle in the chat? Can we just get... Can we just get a candle in the chat? Can we just get a tasty little, little green crayon in the chat? Can we get some scissors in the chat to cut out those diamond hands? AMC, like, uh, like I thought, goes back down to the $19 support. Crosses through, goes to the VWAP, and now hanging out between that VWAP and that EMA. This is tight. This could be anyone's game. This could be anyone's fight. If you guys have already slapped that like button because you guys want Meatball to get another treat at 699 treats, he will. Oh, he will. <laughs> Amy and Goldie looking so pretty right now, says Cyberbully. Amy and Goldie. Oh. We got candles in the chat. AMC, Andrew Mo, California. Don't Jin, that is absolutely what AMC stands for. That's the next question. What does AMC stand for? I love asking this question because it's oftentimes pretty surprising. It's pretty dang surprising. Okay, I don't think anybody told me a percentage when I uh, asked or what was the highest percentage. So maybe we will ask a different question. Let's ask... Uh, what did AMC, oh yeah, around, so I already talked about this, but what is the EPS estimate that AMC is currently facing? What are people, what are analysts thinking? I just mentioned this a couple of minutes ago. Are you guys paying attention? What's our EPS today? And then we'll talk about our revenue estimate. AMC equals money, says Richie, against market corruption. Let's take a look at what the answers are for AMC. Uh, we got AMC equals money from Richie. We got Christian Seda saying against market corruption. Logan Roberts says, give me a shout out. I love your videos. I will. Nick Malloy says against market corruption. Super Underoo says alpha monkey core AMC. Nick Pedro says all my choice. <laughs> Jamie Wallace says moon bots on and ready for blast off, Captain Andrew. Uh, Deviant says America movie cinema? That's not right. Mark, American Market Cyclone, says Richard Klein. Not quite right, actually. Doppel says, uh, serious chat business. 2,000 likes and Andrew will eat one of Meatball's biscuits. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Don sees your shadem says, hey there, pal. Good to see you at the helm again. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, we got Thomas Beattie saying, dividend on TDA announced. Thank you for another, thank you for another delicious soup. Every soup comes with a little bit of green from Meatball. See, he's like, oh, that sound. That's that sound. The same color as that super chat, so here you go, Meatball. Break, you can have it. <laughs> little piece of green. He shows his teeth, because he's ready. Uh, let's see, AMC has now reached the high of the day, about 1968, in the after hours alone. 
still up about two two ish percent in the after hours very very volatile right now on our average volume about 57 million for the day we are still trading like wildfire we have our first correct answer i think um stephen collins said american movie cinema that's not correct uh, we have Boom, Scotty Boom says American Multimedia Cinema, that's almost correct. And then Carrot Ancient is the first one that's actually correct with American Multi Cinema. Carrot Ancient, you can just go ahead and email me at andrewmobusiness at gmail.com. I'll give you access to that six-figure portfolio for playing the game. Thank you for winning, uh, the, being the first winner of our trivia game. <laughs> the next question, um, Meatball's birthday is actually this coming week, this next week. So when is it? <laughs> when is it and just for bonus to get access to that six-figure portfolio um how old is he turning you know professor meatball he has his dog turret from the university of corgel and now he just wants to know how old am i turning okay Kristen says andrew's always down after earnings doesn't matter if it's good news or bad news prepare for that i am prepared i have my expectations Fully prepared. I am not going to to feel sad or bad. Hey, quick question. It's a quick survey. Where are you guys coming from? What videos have were you guys just watching? So I can get a better sense of of uh, what the where is everybody coming from? <laughs> or did you guys just Google search? So here's here's how we do it. You can have two options. You can either say Google searched AMC earnings call and then I showed up here, or you can say oh, I came off of this video. Can you tell me which video? And if it's neither of those two, you can tell me option three, my lord, option three. And then you tell me what option it is because that's just etc. That's just none of the above. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Meatball is, his birthday is August 8th. Don't be so salty has answered correctly. But how old is he turning? Mark Peterson says his birthday is August 10th, and that's not correct. He's turning nine years old, which is correct. So, so close. Uh, let's see if anybody has answered it completely correctly. No, everyone's in August 10th. You know what is October 8th, though, is my musical. So that, it's probably what's confusing you. My musical is going to be in Mountain View in Silicon Valley. So let's see. Anybody, has anybody at all said August 8th and then nine years old? No, August 10th. People keep saying August 10th. Who's the first person that said August 8th? Uh, everyone's saying August 10th. I actually haven't seen a single correct answer yet, so it could still be you. <laughs> it could still be you. Go ahead and search and, and tell me. Don says, first of my Google, first of my loyalty, says obviously. The Huffin says, click the link. The next week says, I was watching a Bill Burr video and now I'm here. Cool. Antonio says, I'm a subscriber. Timorex says, I'm a subscriber. Cyberbully says, I look for your channel on these days. Uh, Corn Hub comments said that Andrew was live on YouTube. Corn. Corn? August 8th, nine years old. I think someone finally actually said it. It's Premium Vibes. Premium Vibes, August 8th, nine years old is completely correct. So go ahead and message me on andrewmobusiness at gmail.com. I'll give you access to my six-figure portfolio. If you also just want access to it, you can just press join and then join and then get a cool meatball, get a cool little meatball token next to your name. I think it's pretty lit. Um, and uh, and yeah, if you guys are interested in other stuff that I make, well, I try to make musical content. So the second channel is probably best for you. It has no content yet, but one day it will. One day it will. That's the magic of it. All right, AMC looking at as if it is hungry and ready it is loyal. Grace Keyboard says, where am I? <laughs> where am I exactly? Uh, everyone else? Mr. Sager says, hey, dude, good to see you, bro, Chacho. Good to see you guys. Jimmy Jones says, I subscribed to you and clicked the reminder. Hello from Virginia. Hello. Joe Cameron says, YouTube suggested your video. I already subscribed, was previously watching some cooking videos. Ah, cool. Yeah, so we were we are currently asking the question, how did you guys come to this video? I'm very interested. Uh, dividend? Special dividend? Thomas Beatty says, crime. Those candles are crime. Dividend has been announced. <sighs> Unique experiences. I know you long time, buddy. Yeah? 
Dividend announced. What is the dividend? Let's find out. They are offering dividend. They announced. I'm going to find out right now what the dividend announcement is. Luckily, you guys are in this video and already slapped that like button because this is the easiest way to be able to find out where those dividend announcements are. <laughs> it's on this channel right now. And of course, that's 699 likes. We're going to give Meatball another treat. How close are we? How close are we? What about 100 some away? It'd be you. AMC special dividend of AMC preferred equity units from Benzinga. From Unusual Whale six minutes ago, AMC has declared a special dividend of one AMC preferred equity unit. Equity units. Well, at this point, I'm going to just tweet it on my Twitter. If you guys always be plugging, if you guys want to follow on Andrew Mo Money, that's the easiest way to do it because I'm going to be posting this. AMC announced a special dividend of AMC preferred equity units. Big news. Big Yoshi. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Ray Matt, hello. Look at him. His platinum meatball coin. So cool. Everyone had their expectations modulated correctly, right? Uh, let's see. Mr. Sager says, when you do your play, you got a cheap free backstage hand right here, dude. Okay, I got you. Message me. Message me. Message me on Instagram or Twitter. Andrew Mo Money. They're, put they're pushing Amy down. Amy, why? Ape share is one to one. Recta Knight says, I think they found lithium, and if they did, that would be major. Volatility is pushing AMC. Right now, finding some support at $17.20. You did not hear me incorrectly. <laughs> but hey, modulated expectations. Modulate, 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 modulate. AMC did hit $19.68 as a high, but every single earnings call comes with its big bag of, of course. AMC is pushing underneath that $17 uh, level of support, instead reaching a $16.82 low as of the day. Yeah, that's its, that's its lowest of the day. That's where it caught support. That pushed even lower, is that $16.80, 79 cents. Now there's a double there's a double seal of support at $16.40. Let's see. Avenue Empire says this was expected. <laughs> uh Kyle Elliott says if people have share lending turned on, will they get the dividend or will the person borrowing their shares get the dividend? Don't have share lending turned on. <laughs> Don't have that ideally. Wow. Is GME touched? GME is down 2.5%. Not nearly touched as much, though. Current extended hours quota not included in current interval. Oh, I'm in a daily interval. That's why. Let's see. AMC caught a support at fifteen dollars and ninety-six cents. Fifteen ninety-six is basically sixteen dollars flat. AMC facing the bulls revenge, pushing back at the sixteen dollar and eighty cents range, seventeen dollar range, and pushing back up. Wow, this is exciting. <laughs> Too exciting, actually. Meepo's about to get this treat. Well, as you guys watch that price action, I am going to be keeping my eyes very closely on it, but uh, we have about 70 likes left. 70 likes left until Meepo gets that third treat. I have him take over. Third milk bone. Hold it, please. Don't move. Good boy, don't move. <laughs> 
could hold it. But <laughs> Ames is trying to push it above. Hey, hey. Ames, hey, hey, no. Hey, Meepo. All right. All right, that's yours now. <laughs> right, that's yours now. Thanks for seven. Thanks for 699 likes, guys. Once again, if I do get 2,000 likes, I will be eating the dog bone. <laughs> Meet uh, AMC pushing at seventeen dollars right now. Ball eats and then he sleeps. That's just how he is. AMC pushing back up. Originally double digits down on after hours. Now looking like it is going to retrace the VWAP, which is currently hanging at about eighteen dollars and change. AMC already traversing past seventeen dollars and change. So it's hard to say whether or not this is actually going to be a resurgence back up to the $20 range. You guys remember, we are doing trivia. We're doing trivia in exchange for uh, six figure portfolios. Pretty cool. Trivia question that you guys probably already know is where? Yes, where? In Meatball. The school. Where is he a professor of? That's the next question. If you do answer correctly, is all so a bunch of you have already answered that he is gonna turn nine years old this year in about four days on August 8th. So if he's uh, if he's a professor, he must go to a school. Let's see what everyone else is saying. Misty, Misty is here. Ah, you, you you taught me how to pronounce your name so many months ago. Mikalni. Mikkel Mikkelnani. <laughs> Teach me again, please. It's almost time for birthday treats and pets. ETS sandwiches. He's a professor of stonks. Truly. A professor of study of napping. Lex Luthor, that is correct. He is a professor from the University of Corgel. The dog turret. Lex, uh, that means that you've answered the question correctly, and I'm giving away six figure portfolios. I'm giving it to you. So email me at andrewmobusiness at gmail.com. Again, if you guys are like some sort of music creator, some sort of producer, some sort of person who cares about um, a musical that w wants to make its way up to Broadway, uh, I'm composing one. That's 23 songs. Send me an email as well andrewmobusiness at gmail.com. That's what I like to do outside of trading stonks. I like to write music. But now, like like I just said about three minutes ago, we're turning back to the VWAP, which is this orange line here, volumetric weighted average uh, price. Beautiful. Mm. Oof. Lovely. And now that we have returned to this level, we do get a chance to push. And if we do, we're turning up to that 200 EMA currently at $19 flat, roughly. $19 flat. AMC already pushed past $17. Easy. $18 now hovering between $18 and directly below it. Dang, this is... I'm not sure if, if people on this chat think this is going poorly, but I think this is going really well. <laughs> I think this is an absolute win. <laughs> That's a Hulk reference. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Andrew Mo, a one-to-one -one dividend. Can this expose since? I think that's going to be one of the things we're going to find out pretty much this coming week. I can't, I'm really excited. I'm really excited with the news. Oh, oh, I got GME is gapping up too. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. What's happening? Uh, Michael Guy says, read about the AMC dividend and explain in Fortnite terms, please. Dude, you gotta... <laughs> well, we, we gotta understand about Fortnite is that it's a, it's a cooperative... <laughs> it's a first-person shooter, but it really is about family. Uh, Jay Insinia, let's go, Andrew Mo. Adam Aaron, best CEO. Okay, this is, this is some hot fire right now. Let's go. Let's go, Andrew Mo. Adam Aaron, best CEO. Where, where, where we go, this candle grows. <laughs> uh, making, making bank. Uh, and who to thank? 
It's the silver back. Adam Aaron, thank you. We'll do more of that next week. <laughs> Can we do a double bottom? Can we get my crayon out? Maureen, can we get my crayon out, please? There it is. Thank you. All right. So let's just say that we have a. Let's just say we we uh, we get rejected at the VWAP Classic. But that what the VWAP good for is on a double tight uh, bottom here at sixteen dollars and fifty three cents. When all the other, when everybody else has already paper handed, accidentally because you can't go down twice. <laughs> So this is this is the trouble with uh, with reading the after hours is that this can easily be seen as a dead as a dead cat bounce right here, but what it can actually signify is that it's pushing back into a double bottom. This is the rest of the pattern up this way, and so that's what we're looking for. Either that, or we're actually going to start seeing a bit of a flag downward, and this flag downward could be uh, a later sign. Of, ca of catching us at 1559. That's the most bearish because that's a roughly the same distance that this alpha wave is. So this is the alpha one, one, two, gamma wave right around here. Adam Aaron tweeted. Let's look. Adam Aaron. Adam Aaron, please. What did you tweet? Gonna find you. 20 more minutes, guys, and then with the doors open. Ooh, and then we get to hear Adam Aaron's real voice. I think that would be really fun. I hope he shows up today. Two minutes. One, in this important tweet storm, a dozen messages explain a bold step. In addition to releasing today our handsomely improving second quarter 2022 earnings, we also broke out our 3D chessboard and got creative. A big move that will address so many of your asks. Today, we pounce. Oh my god, today we pounce? Today, we pounce? What did he just say? Holy moly, did Adam Aaron just say? <laughs> CEO of AMC just said it. <laughs> what the heck? Can you guys believe this? He just said today we pounce? Well, first of all, guys, retweet this right now. Let's 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 retweet let's retweet this right now. Go to Andrew Mo Money on Twitter and retweet that right now because I'm not sure if we understand how how much the SEC might get involved now. <laughs> Adam, why did you say that? Okay, I'm trying to piece it together in my brain. What does he mean, 3D chess? Because usually it says 4D chess. What is 3D chess? You mean like, because normal chess is in two dimensions. <laughs> And 4D chess is called 4D chess. What is Adam Aaron saying? <laughs> Today we pounce CEO Adam. He did pounce. One equity unit can be converted to 100 common stocks. Dr. Dazzle says, everyone to your trampolines. Ray Matt says, Reddit is down. What a coincidence. Is it a coincidence? Brandon McGaffrey says, just had a heart attack. Seriously, this is causing a lot of internal digestion problems for me. Uh, this is this is tying my stomach. What does he mean? 3D cheese, he meant. He, he meant 3D cheese? Or it's a 3D movie like Avatar. Kelly Jenkins says, I have missed you, Andrew Mo. Good, good. Good that we're all here. <laughs> Lovely to have you, Kelly. Reminder to um, that I will eat a dog treat at 2,000 likes just for fun, just for the kids, right? That's not inappropriate at all. If you're watching with your kids right now, give me a give me a hands up. Hey, hi, Uncle Andrew. We'll do something funny for you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but otherwise, if you want to see Meatball eat the dog treat, you just guys have to press up to 900. So that's half the number of people that are in here. So that's really all up to you. 3D Doritos is what he means? What does he mean? 
Silver Streams' CEO Adam has been communicating with the Q community for a while now in his Twitter messages. Q community. Like the Qu Quasimodo. What is Q? <laughs> I, I, I know, I'm just joking. That means all announcements after the markets close and dark pools open as well? Daniel says he's too jacked to make sense. But I really hope he's about to make sense. He better not go like the <laughs> today we pounce with Wakanda forever. A movie about pouncing. <laughs> you can see here from this footage of whoever is the new Black Panther pouncing that he is going to pounce into theaters with a free icy courtesy of uh, your AMC shareholders. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> 3D shower? That's correct. Everyone give Romeo a, 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 an applaud. Give him a hand right now. That's correct. If you don't have your showers ready, I'm not sure what to say. That's a little reference from um, our jokes. We're not going to. We're not getting derailed. We're getting some inside jokes here. Uh, 16 minutes until we fully see what Adam Aaron has behind the second curtain, and the first curtain is Wakanda Forever. You see, and the second curtain, <laughs> the second curtain could literally be anything. Let's rap about it. What could it possibly be? Lupe de Leon. Uh, I've received a message from Robinhood that one of my brokerage accounts ha I have saying AMC is down 9% in the after hours. Uh, yes, it is currently down 8% in the after hours. In fact, it was down almost 15% in the after hours. So in a relative sense, it's up. <laughs> Lewis Smith says 3D Chess is saying that a move... What? Is a saying. That means they're, they've been playing a better game than an opponent. I don't think 3D Chess... Is the saying, or am I crazy? Am I crazy? You tell me in the chat right now. Who's crazier, me or Adam right now? <laughs> because, no, I love him. I love Adam Aaron. He is, uh... Okay, let's see what else he's tweeting. Because he says number one, tweet storm. It probably is number two by now. Unless he really only wants... <laughs> he's really only gonna tweet <laughs> number one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that can't be it. Number one. That, that can't be it. Really? Well, number one. <laughs> Adam, what's going on? What's happening? What? Can someone explain? 3D chess equals one step ahead. I don't think it's 3D chess. I'm just gonna put it out there. I think. <sighs> Eight, seven minutes since he said anything. This is really scary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Once again, he says, in addition to releasing today, I can't even read it again without having a heart attack, actually. I'm just gonna, if you wanna go back and read it, please be my guest. But I'm, oh, geez. <laughs> don't feel anxious, don't feel anxious. Let's breathe together. Let's, <sighs> oof. Let's think about the dog treat Meatball's gonna enjoy. Mm-mm. In a hundred likes, he's gonna enjoy that dog treat. Oh, man. Man. So, we wait for guidance now, says Riverside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Highcroft. Highcroft. Let's take a look at what Highcroft is saying. H-Y-M-C. One dollar, you say? <laughs> hmm. They broke out the 3D chessboard. The Silver Back Gambit coming to a theater near you. You better not. Queen's Gambit from Netflix, a movie coming to an AMC theater near you. You better not. It better not be a chess related advertisement. Oh my god, Adam Aaron. If you just if you just misquoted a if you mixed your metaphor with um, a, a chat, chess advertisement, I'm gonna be very upset. What do you guys think? What could be happening? We have about 12 minutes left until uh, until the markets will absolutely go nuts. Let's see. HYMC found some lithium, he thinks. <laughs> Jay Goss says the AMC preferred equity units can convert into common stock, but only if the company proposes and investors vote to approve an increase of the number of authorized shares of common stock. He's sure going to ask us to vote. He's sure gonna ask us. I easily think that that's something he's gonna, he's just gonna 
call us up and be like, hey, uh, I think I need to, <laughs> I think you need to tell me to do something I want to do once again. The consensus, once again, EPS estimate is down 23 cents, 67.9%, and the consensus revenue estimate is 1.18 billion. That's up 166%, but now let's take a look at what they actually are. Uh, earnings. Let's see, Q2. I don't think anything's actually come out up yet. Let's look at the Wall Street Journal article about this dividend. Hmm. Melmo says, I say no to more shares. Uh, 3D theaters, maybe? 3D theaters. Angelo says, they think they're going to push the price way down and keep it late because they know things are going to go up, 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 up. $3. Three D, 3Ds as in dollar? Okay. It says that it's going to pay a dividend in the form of preferred equity units, which uh, has applied to the list on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol APE. Very cool. Ooh. That's very cool. It is, uh, that's a very good idea. I'm surprised APE isn't taken. But perhaps APE is not a, perhaps people don't want to stocks associated with APEs normally. Well, I don't wouldn't understand why. <laughs> why would they want that? Let me see if I can open this article. We want to read it. We want to read this. Me monkey brain want to read, please. Rude, rude eight hundred one says you're overthinking it. Maybe, maybe, but you know what? I'm gonna overthink it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm definitely gonna overthink it. Because that's my job as a creator of news. <laughs> as a news person. Okay, now let's see. It's ApeCoin, surely. Silverstream says, so we can trade dollar sign Ape and get paid? It sure seems like it so far. Why would they create a whole ticker symbol for it? Jason Tantillo says shares of Ape, not AMC. Uh, no, I don't think it's Ape Coin, Darren. Geraldo says he's giving us free shares and giving us the answer and the way. Vote yes, 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 yes. Yeah, he wants to give us free stocks. AMC dividend. Dividend, give us free stocks. Why would they give us free ape stocks? What do you guys think about ape? <laughs> Obviously, it's a good idea, but is it too good of an idea? Is it two on the nose? AMC still struggling about $17 and change right now. Oh, my ice pack is not cold. Yeah, yeah. Maybe purchase a 3D tech company? Why would he say 3D chess though? Come on. Partnering with ApeCoin and IMAX, you're welcome. Hmm. Argent Purr says AMC preferred equity units clarifies who is included in our current shareholder base. Resort Dog says I went to sleep one night and woke up with three times the shares but no real price appreciation. I think this game might be fixed. Boogity 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 says Artsy Cart. Let's go racing, boys. <laughs> Jason Tentio says it's no dilution. Some people on here don't get it. Yeah, it's not dilution. It's a completely different ticker symbol. It's on the NYSE as ape. Hey, <laughs> clever. Clever girl, Mr. Adam Aaron. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> uh, again, I think you were about to give Meeple one more treat. 
If you have any incentive at all to give me Ball a treat, how about give me a treat? I will have a dog treat <laughs> at 2,000 likes. <laughs> but Meepo will have one at 900, because that's more reasonable. That's just for fun. It's for it's for nothing but getting the word out about this uh, this brand new announcement. This dividend announcement that is just giving us ape shares. <laughs> giving apes apes. Uh, Silverstream says, I like ape. I'm proud to be an ape. Going to have an ape on my tombstone. Uh, and then we also looked at um, Adam Aaron saying number one. <laughs> he says one in an important tweet storm. A dozen messages. Okay, so we're looking for 11 more messages. Okay, we have we have Doc and the 11 other messages. But, uh, but they don't. Right, where are they? Are they in the retweets? Wait, let me open them. Let me open. Maybe they're here. Mm, terrible. And there's trades, trades. And then, uh, and then nope. And then no, no part two. Is that also something? Is he also trying to say something with that too? Uh, Melmo says, I think great idea. We will have one final share count and they give out dividend. 3D chess means he's one move ahead of the hedgies. Usually you're you're playing 4D chess if you are uh, ahead of the hedgies, right? Because 3D chess is just regular chess. <laughs> uh, or perhaps a chess type that doesn't exist because normally chess is played on, played on uh, two dimensions. <laughs> but could be something else entirely. Tommy Lee says, this ape dividend issued to us will show the synthetics out there when it shows more than 500 million issued out. Hope it fits in my Trezor wallet, says Resort Dog. Uh, <laughs> will they change their ticket symbol to ape for a merger? That's the first time that idea has ever entered my brain. You know what I say? <laughs> I say five minutes more. <laughs> I say five more minutes. I say, uh, show me the meat. Adam the Legend Aaron. Adam the Legend Aaron. I think that is Mungo. Oh yeah, if you guys are out there and getting messages from a fake Andrew Mo Money, uh, you'll be able to tell because their name is not exactly no punctuation, no underscore, no uh, no s. Andrew Mo Money. That's just a PSA out there. Please do not get scammed. Thank you. Otherwise, if you want me to eat a dog treat, <laughs> I don't know why you would want this from me. All right, but if you want Meatball to have one, I think you guys already have 900 likes. Let's check. Let's check. Check it. 840. Uh, it's not quite 900. I'll shut up about it soon because you're about 2,000 people who uh, want to hear some trivia, right? So we already asked earlier, what was AMC? We we're giving away six figure salary, uh, sorry, six figure portfolios away. Uh, so we want to be able to um, want to up the stakes a little bit. We know that Meatball's birthday is coming up on August 8th. He's turning nine. Uh, and my musical, what day is that going to come out? Actually, You guys know this? I'm composing, I'm playwriting, and I'm creating something that I hope one day will go into um, perhaps an off-Broadway theater, and then we'll go into a Broadway theater. It's about uh, it's about one woman's journey in the 1800s to construct an identity for an entire nation. Uh, it's about being unclaimable, and that's the title of the musical. Uh, so let's uh, while that happens, whoever answers first. And where? When and where is it happening? We'll get access to that six-figure portfolio. All they have to do is message me at andrewmobusiness at gmail.com. And then we'll wait the three minutes it takes until we get to the second quarter earnings webcast. And then we're finally into the door. Woo-wee! BTS sandwiches, wait, is Ape going to be a stock ticker or a coin? It's going to be a stock ticker. It's going to be on NYSE. Punk's not dead says, hello, my friend. Ape unit says, Eric Bang, is this for real? It's for real. Yeah, baby, says Sam. Ounce activated his deviant ways. Oh, man. 
The news was sold. Don't be surprised by a retraction for a bounce, says Resort Dog. It looks like we have BTS Sandwich's October 8th, my birthday. BTS Sandwich, you're right. We also have Ben O'Connor saying it, Dad right now saying it. We have Christina Turner saying it. Uh, it's true. It's true. It's going to be October 8th in Mountain View in, in the Bay Area. I mean, it's still about like eight, nine weeks away. Not all the songs are finished yet, but it's going to be two acts. It's going to be 23 songs. If you want to hear a little bit of the music, it's on the channel. It's featured on the homepage. Uh, hope you guys come out and see it. BTS Sandwich. Go ahead and send me an email. And you know what? The next giveaway is going to be a one-on-one -on -one with me. That sounds cool. Let's do that. I'll ask it in a bit. Stick around, obviously. We, have, we do giveaways uh, pretty dang often. It is going to be a Mountain View. That's correct. Clyde Gelschleicher says Hedgehog's going to have to uh, cover all their shares. Checkmate. I do like Checkmate. Checkmate. Uh, Mr. Sager says Dog trees aren't that bad. You got to get the yogurt ones. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Y'all gonna... Y'all are serious. Yo. <laughs> you guys are serious? Let's count. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53. I'm not gonna count 60 numbers. Honestly, my job is to say numbers out loud on YouTube. But I'm not gonna say 60 of them. Alright? <laughs> Alright? Get it in everyone's heads right now. Uh, that's just my, that's just my sense of humor. Let's see. Argent Purr says one penny miss. That's, that is what we're good about. You know, 88% of the time we beat, but in that one time we miss, boy, one penny. Uh, Cafe Ole. Dilution can't happen as Adam Aaron wants. Yeah, it's not dilution. There's no dilution. All right. No, none of it. 112% retail ownership. NFT dividend? Not an NFT. It's going to be on the uh, stock exchange. We're in! Yay! Yes! Second time we ring the bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ding ding ding. <laughs> ding ding. Ring ting a ting ting. You see people with those cool uh, meatball coins next to their names and the cool different. Uh, colors next to their names. It's because they've been part of the Moon Platoon for a very long time. So if you want to be a part of it, you want access to the best investing community out there, uh, it's all the links in the description down below. Let's go. I'm going to be a lot more active on uh, on Discord starting this week. So make sure that you guys come out. Say hi. Send a message. What's up, MJ? Ng? We, have, uh, we have Sergio Angel saying hello, hello. Ten. Going to not, uh, uh, Adam Aaron desperately wants to be like RC. He does. You know what? He's funny. <laughs> He's a funny silverback, and I like that. I think everybody's trying to get in this this uh, little meeting right now. Everybody's trying to get in this meeting. Well, for them, I have only one greeting, and it's to get off of my play lobby music. Don't play. Get notified when the event starts? Yeah. No. I'm just gonna watch. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Sick. Cool. Hold tight. Broadcast will begin shortly. You guys are in the right place. Oh man. I'm feeling pretty cool. I like how they keep upgrading their, their webcasts. They they know that um some YouTuber is giving them millions of dollars of publicity right now. <laughs> uh, a bunch of YouTubers all in a row. Let's see. Do I have special colors or balloons to Sanguine? No. No, I don't see any. Who said that? I say, I see these. Mr. Sager says, that made me giggle out loud. Well, I'm trying to make all of you giggle out loud, okay? I'm trying to make you all G-O-L. Right. <laughs> Resort Dog says equity shares means a repayment or kneecaps in a bankruptcy court. Now, Resort Dog, <laughs> what have you seen? What what memories have you have? 
This dividend is a different ticker entirely? Correct. Different ticker. And it's gonna have a different bomb if I'm right. Boom. Let's see. Shout out to Rake City Crew. This is Italian Stallion. What's what's going on, Italian Stallion? <laughs> the movies. We're back. That's 2,000 viewers. Guys, that's pretty cool. That means you hit the like button. That means you guys are over 900 likes. All right, next one at 1,200. Next meatball treat at 1,200. Next meatball treat. Give him something to eat. Make sure he is fed. Don't leave him on red. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pen it? No. Cannot. Where are we vacationing first, Mo Money? Says Patrick Flanagan. Want to go to St. John to the Beach Bar because they live stream on YouTube. Now that. Where we're going. Uh, What time does earning call start? It got, starts about 10 minutes. It's enough time for you to have one large popcorn. One large popcorn, and that's it. I'm about to uh, zoom in on Meatball because I want him. I want you guys to see that he is getting his, getting his just desserts here. Here, bud. Come here. Right, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> hold it. Okay, you already ate it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna hold it as uh, as as I wanted him to, but he didn't. It all. So uh, different ice pack here. And let's see what is going on right now. They're playing their li they're playing their music whether or not you like it. They're like, you know, it doesn't matter if you like our if you, it doesn't matter if we had a toggle for the music earlier. You are going to hear it no matter what. All right, I'm attaching the price action to the rocket as we speak. As we speak, the the price action is price action <laughs> about to feel the full strength of my rocket. Okay? I love confirming to a group of people who can only text back at me. Is that okay? I can't hear any of you. Hello? <laughs> can we speak up a little bit? I can't. I, how many people are eating something right now? What are you eating? How many people want to eat something? What do you want to eat? I'm hungry. I'm going to draw me. I'm going to draw me this lasso here. And I'm going to start pulling it tight. Okay, start pulling it tight. So I'm gonna pull this lasso tight. <laughs> pulling this lasso real. Whoop. Where did my rocket go? Oh. Rocket disappeared. Here it is. Okay, I'm pulling this rocket tight. <laughs> there we go. What's up, Bearded Garden? AMC missed earnings by one penny, it sounds like. Very silly. Pretty dummy. Surf and turf. I would like that too, actually. Uh, let's see. Someone's eating a fur burger. Huh? What is that? Chipotle from Mitchell. In and out burger from Jeremy. You're in California, I see. Uh, some shortbread biscuit. Yo, Ben, let's go. That's my favorite type of food. Shortbread biscuits. Dang, those are so tasty. I cannot. Uh, I don't know anything else than shortbread cookies. <laughs> Let's see. Rocket went. Rocket went where? Hmm. Austin Patrick says, Andrew, you're my favorite AMC reporter because you're the only one who makes it to onto around the blockchain. You know, that's my favorite sentence I, I didn't think anybody would ever say. Really glad you said it. Thank you. Jeremy says, Good to see your smiling face, Andrew. Good to see yours, Jeremy. Oh, can't. Can't. I have to zoom in on your profile picture in order to see it. Uh, let's see. Jorge wants me to take a shot. 
Jorge, is that what's gonna is that what's gonna appease you? Well, I'm trying to be family friendly right now. All right, I'm trying to say uh, I'm trying to say meatball. Save me. Let's imagine I take one off off screen. Meatball, you see that? See? Almost earnings time. It's really close, actually. Sixty nine R A T M says, "I want to hear about ape equity units, chili f cheese fritos, and salsa con queso." Well, cool. Jeremy says we also have In and Out in Colorado. Ooh, Obnob here in UK. Obnob is a type of food, probably just like a jack in the box. Um, let's see. If we t if we take if we break twenty, I'm taking a shot. Well, Weston, okay, same, same. How about this? I'm in it with with Weston, actually. Mr. Sager, come on. Fried calamari, yeah. Okay. Now, let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like da da diddly dee dee diddly dee 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 dee. It's whatever Adam Aaron thinks is music. <laughs> what did Adam Aaron say? Oh, Aaron, please show me your tweets. Show me your show me those tweets. You know, honestly, the problem with Adam Aaron's tweets is that um, he says he'll have multiple tweets, but he only has one. That's too few tweets for me to read. That's only one. If you guys are here for the AMC earnings webcast, it is directly in front of you. Congratulations, you found it. It's very nice of you to be here. <laughs> uh, while you are here, it's customary to give me ball a treat. And if you would like to give Andrew a treat, I will have one at 2,000 likes. Uh, let's see. Eduardo says Parmesan cheese. Ooh, Tijuana hot dogs with lots of fried jalapenos and onion. I wish I lived in San Diego. Ooh. Ooh. Or hey what's going on essentially we missed earnings whatever we said we were gonna do we didn't quite do and now everyone's over exaggerating uh because we basically missed earnings we basically were right on the money so that's the problem you kind of have to show weakness in the beginning and then take a boot early and then you can uh readjust if you have a low ball estimate for your earnings however it's the other side around then it becomes a little bit more difficult His new tweet is game changing. Okay, let's take a look. Why is this refreshing so hard? Oh, let's be I'm on the space key. I'm on the space key, that's why. Okay. Uh let's take a look. Adam Aaron has given has given what? What is he doing? Mm hmm Okay. All right, I'm still on the space key. Out. Mm hmm Okay, at the top it says... No, this is just the same tweet. This is the same tweet. From the one from 34 minutes ago. Let's see. How do we do on earnings? Do we know yet? Oops, see, I can't. This is why I can't have nice things. Okay, we have about three minutes before this actually starts. You guys excited? Listening to the music, and it's. Ooh, it's not good. <laughs> music. Jason says, my fingernails, because I'm anxious. 
this. Can Adam Aaron be trusted? Avi Dent. Can we trust him? Let me pull my rocket back down a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna have to just gonna push this. I need a new laptop. <laughs> this, I've uh, been using this exact same one to stream for you guys for for too long. Investor place uh, had 0.26 EPS, so according to street ana analysts, we beat it. Hmm. Well, I think I, I think this is the last song before uh, before this earnings broadcast begins. <laughs> Jorge, you're being too funny right now. Resort Dog says, I play the Stranglers down the sewer half the time when I am stuck waiting. Huh? What? What language is this? <laughs> what did I just see? What did I just read? Silent Giant says, hey Mo, just want to say thanks for broadcasting this. Hey, I got you. I got you. We good. They were treading water and Adam Aaron just handed them a boulder. Give them a bold. <laughs> Give them the boulder. <laughs> The boulder. Can we do our best the boulder impression in the chat right now? Just give me just give me your best the boulder. The boulder. Did the call end? No, it's beginning. Hasn't quite started it yet. What are you gonna do with your ape shares, Andrew? Ooh, I don't know, Super Agent. What are you gonna do with your ape shares? What are you gonna do with your ape? That's a very funny question. I think that's gonna be the question. Uh, I'm gonna make a poll in the in the in the community page. Now I'll do it later. Now I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Make a poll in the community page. I'll ask. Hey, what do you guys want? <laughs> What are you doing with your... What's everyone doing with their... What's everyone doing with their... Uh, ape dividend? Oh, they're starting. Oh. Momentarily, but thank you for your patience. I should please remain online. <gasps> we're starting. Ah, uh, no, we're not starting. Ah, uh, they almost got us. <laughs> uh, they were just like, actually, we're not starting yet. Ha <laughs> ha. You silly. Yeah, they yeah, got us good. All right, I think I guess I guess one more song, and then they'll be ready. They really almost got me. They're like, yeah, can you, uh, <laughs> can you guys keep holding? Thanks. Can you imagine if someone came into the call and was like, hey, can, can you guys keep holding? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever happened to you? Have you been on a hold for a really long time? And then right around the time that they're supposed to pick you up, they're like, hi, can you keep holding? Thanks. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. I'm not going to say that, Slayton. Slayton. You, you. Is that really your... Wait, what does this even mean? Chu? Chupa me? I don't even know what... Is this a real name? Sorry, I... I I, I, felt, I thought you were pranking me, but perhaps you aren't. Mr. B says, can you remove the background music when it starts? Yeah. I got you. Hey, Andrew says, whelmed. Hey, where's your friends? Over and under. <laughs> I like your name. Uh, let's see. Super Agent says, This is Scott Cunningham Realtor, by the way. Just changed my name on here, but long time viewer. Hey, what's up? I remember you. So how's his realtoring um, happening still? Or 
Geraldo says, word on the street, AMC preferred equity unit APE provide no dilution to currently issued shares, but will double retail shares. That's the rumor, rock on apes. Don't say that, says BTS Sandwich. Ah, uh, let's see. He's pranking me. Ugh. Logmain says, first of all, thank you so much for the broadcast. You are a little dramatic. <laughs> a little dramatic, you're right. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to say nothing. Thank you for standing by to the I'm going to say nothing. Entertainment second quarter 2022 earnings conference call. During the presentation, all participants will be in a listen-only mode. And afterwards, we'll conduct a question and answer session. At that time, if you have a question, please press the 1, followed by the 4 on your telephone. But any time during the conference, you need to reach an operator, please press star 0. This conference has been recorded Thursday, August 4th, 2022. And now I'd like to turn the conference over to John Merriweather. Please go ahead. Thank you, Scott. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to AMC's second quarter 2022 earnings webcast. With me this afternoon is Adam Aaron, our chairman and CEO, and Sean Goodman, our chief financial officer. Before I turn the webcast over to Adam, let me remind everyone that some of the comments made by management during this webcast may contain forward-looking statements that are based on management's current expectations. Numerous risks, uncertainties, and other factors may cause actual results to differ materially from those that might be expressed today. Many of these risks and uncertainties are discussed in our most recent public filings, including our most recently filed 10-K and 10-Q. Several of the factors that will determine the company's future results are beyond the ability of the company to control or predict. In light of the uncertainties inherent in any forward-looking statements, listeners are cautioned to not place undue reliance on these statements. The company undertakes no obligation to revise or update any forward-looking statements, whether as a result of new information or future events. On this webcast, we may reference non-GAAP financial measures, such as adjusted EBITDA, constant currency, free cash flow, operating cash burn, and operating cash generated, among others. For a full reconciliation of our non-GAAP measures to GAAP results, please see our earnings release posted in the Investor Relations section of our website earlier today. After our prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. This afternoon's webcast is being recorded and a replay will be available in the Investor Relations section of our website at amctheaters.com later today. The Boulder. With that, I'll turn the call over to Adam. The Boulder. Thank you, John. Good afternoon, one and all, and thank you for joining us. Today, we have tremendously exciting news to share with you. First, our results for the second quarter, which were massively ahead of last year's second quarter, and exceeded market expectations for revenues, adjusted EBITDA, and net income. And second, our plan to issue later this month a special AMC preferred equity non-dilutive stock dividend as it will all be going and only be going to our shareholder base as of the dividend date. This is a move that fundamentally and deeply strengthens our company and will give us enormous flexibility as we go forward. These are exciting times for AMC and for our investors. I'll start this webcast by talking about the business. I'll then pass the call over to Sean Goodman, our CFO, to talk about our financials in more detail. And then I'll come back to talk about our special dividend announcement and the significant benefits that it brings for our shareholders. I cannot begin to put into words how much progress AMC Entertainment made in the second quarter of 2022. Thank you to Dr. Stephen Strange, to Tom Maverick Cruz, to Elvis Presley, and to all those hungry people eating Jurassic dinosaurs. <laughs> because they all graced our big screens at AMC. The second quarter was quite the success and our best second quarter in three years. What's more, and this is very important, they boosted Hollywood's confidence in theatrical exhibition, and they boosted Hollywood's commitment the theatrical exhibition. Just as we predicted, our improving second quarter results boost our spirits and serve, serve to further convince that we indeed are making great strides on our path towards pandemic recovery. As you can see in our press release, AMC exceeded expectations as people came back to movie theaters in droves. 
Some 59 million moviegoers came to our AMC theaters across the world in the second quarter, up 168% from the same quarter a year ago. That's more than two and a half times. They're taking us to new highs in our high margin food and beverage business. And thanks to their patronage, we generated positive adjusted EBITDA of $107 million in the second quarter of 2022, a $258 million improvement over that figure in Q2 of 2021. We generated positive operating cash too in the second quarter of 2022 of $52 million. That was a $178 million improvement from the figure of the same quarter a year ago. The second quarter marked the strongest North American box office since 2019. Numerous films shined brightly in the second quarter, but none shined brighter than Top Gun Maverick. I've seen it myself four times now. Top Gun Maverick is now approaching $1.3 billion in worldwide box office receipts and holds the number one box office position thus far in 2022. Maverick also broke all-time records by becoming the highest grossing movie of all time to open on Memorial Day weekend. It also is becoming the highest grossing, grossing movie ever, both for Paramount Pictures and for a movie starring Tom Cruise. I have said all along that people would come back to theaters in eye-popping numbers, and that is exactly what they did in the second quarter of 2022 and what they've been doing since. To the naysayers, who foolishly, in our opinion, have been predicting a secular decline of theatrical exhibition, all I can say is, well, you've seen my feisty hashtags on Twitter. You know what I say. <laughs> the second half of this year promises to be equally exciting with a great mix of family-friendly horror, action, drama, comedy genres to please everyone from young to old, including Warner Brothers DC Comics-based Black Adam, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and three Disney films, including the animated Strange World and two very highly anticipated tentpole Disney sequels, James Cameron's Avatar 2, The Way of Water, and Marvel's Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Just last week, the powerful and poignant trailer for Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, was released and garnered a staggering 172 million views of the trailer in just the first 24 hours, becoming one of Marvel Cinematic Universe's top ever trailer debuts. He said Wakanda, so... As Nicole Kidman reminds us in AMC's now iconic and revered advertising campaign, given that Hollywood has great stories to tell, it's clear that movie fans are ever so eager to enjoy those dazzling images on AMC's huge solar screens. I'm speaking of Nicole, our ad campaign was so effective that we signed her to be our spokesperson for another full year. The success of the second quarter has continued into the start of the third quarter. I've put two examples of let the good times roll. Attendance in the just completed month of July 2022 saw the highest number of guests visit AMC's U.S. theaters since December of 2019. And our preliminary July food and beverage revenue numbers appear to be the biggest single month figure at our U.S. theaters in our company's entire 102-year history. For full transparency, there is a dearth of new big movie titles being released in August and September. So things will slow for several weeks. Don't expect too much of us for all of Q3. But then comes the fourth quarter of 2022. Talk about star power showing itself in movie theaters. These movies and more 
will all grace our screens in just the 13 weeks of the fourth quarter of 2022. Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween Ends, Julia Roberts and George Clooney in Ticket to Paradise, Dwayne Johnson, Pierce Brosnan, and Viola Davis in Black Adam, Jessica Chastain, Anne Hathaway, and Sir Anthony Hopkins in Armageddon Time, Margot Robbie, Christian Bale, and Robert De Niro in Amsterdam, Tom Hicks in A Man Called Otto, Tom Hanks in A Man Called Otto, Tom Hicks. Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie in Babylon. Oh, and don't forget the ever so much anticipated sequels to Black, to Black Panther, Shazam, and Avatar. <laughs> so, too, the movie slate for calendar year 2023 should also make us all smile. Our current internal forecast is that the 2023 domestic box office, the basic metrics suggesting the health of theatrical exhibition, both in the U.S. and globally, is likely to be billions of dollars larger than that of calendar year 22. Billions of dollars ahead. We look forward to Q4 of 2022, and we look forward to calendar year 2023 with absolute glee. There were other strides forward made at AMC in the recent months since our last quarterly call. We've started the installation of the biggest environmentally friendly green initiative in our company's history with the introduction of laser projection technology coming over the next few years to almost half of our U.S. screens. And laser projection will make the pictures on those screens so much brighter and so much sharper that it's certain to excite movie buffs going forward. We're already in test market in Chicago and Kansas City with our partner, Uber Eats, for home delivery of AMC Perfectly Popcorn and other concession items from our theaters. The early results are favorable, so we expect to roll out nationally in Q4 of this year. Similarly, recipe development for microwavable and ready-to-eat popcorn is well underway, yeah. going extremely well, and we look forward to being able to sell our popcorn products in grocery stores and or convenience stores next year. We're also in active dialogue with a credit card issuer and hope to introduce a co-branded AMC credit card that can be launched nationally in early 2023 or possibly as early as late 2022. And at the specific urging of our shareholders, we are stepping up our game mightily on AMC branded and movie branded merchandise. As for high crop mining, Highcroft just announced its largest exploration program in about a decade. Remember that heretofore, Highcroft has explored only about 2% of its 71,000 acre mine site. With every confidence that our Highcroft investment will pan out, using the pun, to be quite lucrative for AMC. Speaking of investments, our board of directors also has authorized us to establish a fund of up to $100 million for additional transformative investments where AMK, AMC can seek to add value and thereby create meaningful additional value for our shareholders. Indeed, as I've often said previously, we are absolutely committed to transforming AMC into a figure older, stronger, and more successful company than even the one that existed prior to the pandemic. With that said, I'll now turn the call over to Sean to discuss our financials in more detail. Sean? Oh, just one for Sean. Oh. Oh, man. Did you hear that? Did you hear the whisper? That disconnect. <laughs> and you may begin. He's back. All right. Yeah, he's good. Thanks, Adam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this afternoon. As Adam said, Q2 was a terrific quarter for us. We welcomed 59 million guests 
to our theaters around the world. And this is well ahead of the 22 million guests that we entertained during last year's second quarter and the 39 million guests that visited us in the first quarter of 2022. This attendance resulted in revenue of $1.17 billion. This is more than two and a half times the $445 million of revenue we had in Q2 of 2021. And it's almost 50% ahead of the $786 million of revenue that we recorded in the first quarter of this year. But even more importantly, we achieved positive adjusted EBITDA of $107 million, a very meaningful improvement over the EBITDA loss recorded in both the prior year's second quarter and also the first quarter of this year. Our financial results clearly reflect the ongoing recovery of the industry and our business. As has been our practice during the recovery period, we believe that it's helpful to look at our financial performance metrics relative to pre-pandemic levels to best benchmark the dynamics and profitability of the business as our recovery progresses. This analysis shows that our per guest performance metrics during the second quarter were universally substantially superior to pre-pandemic levels in 2019. For Q2 of 2022, on a consolidated basis, total revenue per patron was $19.73. This is 27% higher than Q2 of 2019. This was driven by admissions revenue per patron growth of 19% and food and beverage revenue per patron growth of 32%. And other revenue growth per patron of 65%. This is all compared to the second quarter of 2019. In the domestic business, admissions revenue per patron increased by 22% compared to Q2 2019. And, our in, and in our international business, the increase was 12%. And when we normalize for the strengthening of the US dollar compared to 2019, international admissions revenue per patron increased 16% measured in constant currency. The admissions revenue per patron growth was driven by guests choosing to upgrade to the very best possible sight and sound experiences that are found at our premium large format offerings, such as IMAX, Dolby Cinema, and AMC Prime. Premium large format attendance represented 15.6% of domestic attendance in Q2, and this can be compared to 10.9% in the second quarter of 2019. And our, in our international markets, Q2 2022 premium large format attendance represented 10.4%, and this compares to 6.4% in the second quarter of 2019. In addition, the second quarter admissions revenue benefited from an overall favorable showtime mix, coupled with pricing adjustments, including Blockbuster and opening weekend pricing. From a food and beverage perspective, we enjoyed extremely strong food and beverage revenue per patron as our guests continue to participate in the full in-theater entertainment experience. In our domestic markets, food and beverage spend per patron in the second quarter was $7.52. That is 35% higher than the average spend in pre-pandemic Q2 2019. And in the international business, food and beverage spend per patron was $4.43. That's 22% higher than Q2 of 2019 and 26% higher on a constant currency basis. Our significant food and beverage art performance continues to be primarily driven by an increase in the proportion of guests choosing to enjoy our industry leading food and beverage offerings combined with them purchasing more items per each order and both of which are made easy and convenient through our AMC apps. Compared to the second quarter of 2019, domestic other revenue per patron increased by 65%, and international other revenue per patron increased by 63% and 69% in constant currency. This reflects an increasingly higher percentage of guests 
choosing to reserve their seats and order their food and beverage using our industry-leading websites and apps. Together with the benefit of growth and diversification initiatives, such as renting out our theaters during off-peak times and revenue from various promotional and marketing initiatives. During the recovery period, we have been very agile in adjusting our payroll hours and flexing show times to reflect market demand and optimize efficiency. Our Q2 domestic attendance represented 60.5% of Q2 2019 attendance, but 85% of Q2 2019's attendance per showing. Let's move to cash and liquidity. We ended the quarter with a strong liquidity position of approximately $1.18 billion, comprised of $965 million of cash and cash equivalents and $211 million of undrawn credit facilities. The strong results for the quarter led to non-GAAP operating cash generated of $52 million. That's operating cash generated. This is a $178 million improvement compared to Q2 of 2021. Recall that this non-GAAP operating cash generated measurement represents cash generated before debt servicing costs and before deferred rent payback. Looking ahead, we would expect a return to non-GAAP operating cash burn in Q3 as we experience a seasonally strong, softer box office together with working capital pressures relating to the strong Q2 box office. However, we do expect a return to positive non-GAAP operating cash generated in Q4 of this year. Regarding capital allocation, we continue to pursue a balanced and disciplined approach to capital allocation. Our main priorities remain unchanged. One, ensure that we have sufficient liquidity to manage through the recovery phase of our business. Two, strengthen our balance sheet by reducing our debt and associated interest costs. And three, investing in our business to enhance the guest experience. And finally, four, opportunistically pursuing value-enhancing initiatives, including those that lead to diversification and growth of our business. As previously reported, during the quarter, we quietly strengthened our balance sheet by repurchasing through the open market approximately $72.5 million of our 10% second lien subordinated secured notes that are due in 2026. We did this repurchase for approximately $50 million, and this represented a 31% discount to the face value of the debt. As a result of this transaction, we recorded a gain on debt extinguishment this quarter of $39 million, and our annual interest costs will now be reduced by $7.25 million. During the second quarter of 2022, we also strengthened our balance sheet by repaying approximately $53 million of deferred rent, reducing our deferred rent balance to approximately $219 million. Recall that back in March 2021, this deferred rent balance was more than $470 million, and over the last 15 months, we have lowered the deferred rent balance by more than $250 million. We expect to further reduce this deferred rent balance during the second half of 2022 by another approximately $70 million. Actively managing our theater portfolio continues at AMC as we add new high-performing locations and at the same time eliminate low performance, all with the goal of improving guest satisfaction and enhancing our profitability. During the quarter, we added another 12 new theaters and we closed three brings the total number of locations closed since the, beginning, since the pandemic began to 98, and the total new locations opened to 45 for a net reduction of 53 locations. And I can tell you that the combined 45 new locations are not only substantially outperforming the 98 closed locations, but they are also nicely exceeding our underwriting expectations. CapEx net of landlord contributions was $36 million in the quarter. And for this year, separate and apart from any M&A activity, 
we expect net capex to be in the range of 150 to 200 million dollars. Finally, before handing the webcast back over to Adam, I would like to share with you just how enthusiastic and excited myself and the entire leadership team at AMC is about groundbreaking special dividend that Adam will now talk about in more detail. Adam. Thank you, Sean. We'll open up the call to questions in just a few minutes. Stop Before waiting right we now. That, I'd like to talk about the decisive and bold action we took earlier this afternoon. After months and months of work to get to this announcement, we broke the news in the last hour that we will be issuing a one-for-one -one stock dividend of a new AMC preferred equity unit to our existing common shareholders as of the dividend date of August 19, later this month. This is a major step forward for AMC. In my view, probably the biggest favorable development for our company in all the calendar year 22, both looking back and looking ahead. Looking at the long-term future of our company, we believe this is truly great news for AMC and not such good news for those prophets of doom who may be rooting against us. Okay. Indeed, I just spoke with someone I greatly respect at the Wall Street Journal who saw our stock dividend announcement. He told me it was a, quote, genius move, unquote. Somehow I don't genius think the journal's move. gonna actually print that. But that is what he said. It's it. Earlier this year, I said that AMC intended to take important and bold steps to strengthen our company and to address some of the grievances that many of our shareholders voice repeatedly in social media and in other forums. I also said, though, that the art form of leading a company is complex and one as much in the spotlight as AMC is knowing what to do and knowing what not to do. Hmm. Knowing when to do it and knowing when not to do it. Hmm. I commented previously that, in my opinion, we should patiently wait until at least the posting of AMC's second quarter 2022 financial results. I did know, after all, that Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic World Dominion were coming. Well, we posted those results today, and in our minds, those results are incredibly encouraging as we show dramatically increasing attendance and increasing revenues, along with positive adjusted EBITDA, so very much improved versus the same quarter last year. As I said before on this call, thank you, Tom Cruise. So, as a result, AMC shareholders, I am happy to report to you that today, we pounce. Did With the it? backdrop of AMC's Q2 favorable earnings in the second quarter, it is now time for us to take decisive and even valorous action. Valorous. So if that were in the dictionary. I will. Valorous. I will. Today, we announced that later this month, AMC will be creating a new class of securities and will be issuing an AMC Preferred equity unit stock dividend payable only to holders of our 516,820,595 issued and outstanding company issued common shares. This includes all of our U.S. and all of our international shareholders as well. We will issue these new AMC preferred equity units on a one for one basis. Investors will get one AMC preferred equity unit for each AMC common share that they own as of the record date in mid-August. It's like a shadow market. Along with our common shares, which trade now and will continue to trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol AMC. This new AMC preferred equity unit also will be a tradable security. It also will be listed on the New York Stock Exchange starting on August 22, 2022, under the ticker symbol huh? A oh, ticker. P 
E. Yes. Ape. A P E, as in A M C A, preferred P, equity E. A P E, ape. And informally, we will now refer to our two New York Stock Exchange listed securities as shares for the common stock and as apes for the AMC preferred equity units. For a variety of reasons, a dividend distribution in just about any form has been a long-standing request from our investor base. Today, we answered that call. So too, this issuance of 516,820,595 new apes will essentially serve the same purpose <laughs> as a much voiced request for a quote, share count, unquote, as the new AMC preferred equity units will only go to holders of company issued and outstanding AMC common shares. Again, today, we answered the call. Because the dividend is only being distributed to our current shareholder base as of the dividend record date, there also is no dilution from this initial issuance of the apes associated with the stock dividend. Because these new apes all go and only go the holders of company issued AMC common shares. The number of issued and outstanding AMC commercial sh shares Remain, will remain unchanged at 516,820,595 after the dividend is paid. Hmm. But of course, each shareholder also will own one eighth for every share of AMC common stock held. So, as of August 22, there also will be another 516,820,595 apes issued and outstanding. Think of this as being very similar to a two-for-one stock split, except that in a stock split, an investor would get two shares of new common stock for each one old common share owned. In the AMC case being announced today, however, given that this is a preferred equity stock dividend, an investor would own one share and one eighth in lieu of owning just one common share. But it's not quite the same. Since this stock dividend being announced today is like a stock split, it's logical it's like to it. assume that once a dividend is issued on August 22nd, the price of our common shares will fall. Vitally, however, and I cannot repeat this enough, for each owned share, investors would not own only a single share, but would own instead a share and an ape. So their economic interest in AMC, which is now just one share, would instead be the price of a share plus the price of an ape, both of which will trade on the New York Stock Exchange. And while no one's crystal ball can accurately predict stock market swings or volatility, the economic interest that our shareholders will have in both shares and apes will be in a company that we believe to be considerably stronger than AMC is now prior to this announcement being made this afternoon. The issuance of apes is made possible given the previously and repeatedly announced approval sponsor by AMC shareholders back in 2013 yeah. that the creation and issuance of AMC preferred stock could occur solely at the AMC Entertainment Board of Directors future discretion. While each ape is designed to have the same rights as a common share and can convert into a share of common stock, that conversion decision is still solely up to our shareholders. Conversion can only take place if at a future stockholders meeting, the company proposes and shareholders, including ape holders, vote to approve the authorization of additional common shares.
that is still our shareholders call to make down the road or not it's up to them but here why not <laughs> is probably the most important thing of all in this announcement about the creation of apes today with the creation of apes amc is deeply and fundamentally strengthening our company mm -hmm. we already have shareholder approval in hand such that our board could decide we can issue more apes in the future above and beyond those going out to this initial dividend. Given the flexibility that being able to issue more apes will give us, we believe that we would handily be able to raise money, if we so choose, which immensely lessens any survival risk as we continue to work our way through this pandemic to recovery and transformation. Rather than having to worry about survival, the flexibility accruing to us from apes can instead let us continue our efforts to try instead for AMC to thrive and to soar. This new AMC preferred equity provides AMC with a currency that can be used in the future to further strengthen our balance sheet, including by paying down some of our debt and other liabilities. It also gives us the ability to seek additional shareholder value enhancing and potentially transformative investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. I believe that all of this makes AMC vastly, and I mean vastly stronger. And anything that moves AMC so far forward in a single step is bad news. Bad, bad, bad news for those who wish us harm. Having said all of that, there are a myriad of details and cautions related to our announcements today. So I strongly urge investors, carefully read our press releases and our SEC filings on these matters, which are incorporated herein by reference. To celebrate this milestone and as a token of our appreciation, for our shareholders' continued support, we also will be offering a free I own NFT, NFT mm -hmm. to all existing AMC Investor Connect members and to new members joining by August 31, 2022. Incidentally, we have some 765,000 people who've joined AMC Investor Connect in the past 13 months. Likewise, Based on the popularity of the original Ion AMC NFT that we issued back in January to AMC Investor Connect members, to those who are in AMC Investor Connect, or to those who joined by August 31, 2022, they will also be entitled to receive a free updated version of that Ion AMC NFT Make It a Pair. When I think about this pandemic and the journey we have all been on together for the past two and a half long years. I am ever mindful of our shareholders dedication to AMC entertainment. And if I can speak personally for a second of their trust in me as its CEO, I want everyone listening to this webcast today or on replay later, to know once again that my every decision and my every action is intended to work for the long-term benefit of all of our shareholders. I act and think like a shareholder because I too am a shareholder and a big one at that. At the current AMC share price, I know I know own outright. Approximately $15 million of AMC stock. And counting in also my previously granted but unvested shares, assuming they vest at so called target vesting levels, I have more than a $50 million economic stake in AMC. This is pretty obvious stuff, but that is a powerful incentive for me to do what is right for all of our shareholders. All throughout this effort, I've always been candid 
I have always tried to keep my word to our shareholders. Always. I promised only a few months ago that we would be bold. And to that and, end, and a few months ago, I, prom I promised that at the right time, we would pounce. Well, today, we pounced. John, let's move to questions, both from shareholders and from analysts. Great. Um, and it? there's a question that just came in, um, mm. and it reads as follows. It says, I saw in the press release that you said that this eight dividend will fundamentally strengthen AMC and has tremendous potential to create meaningful value for both AMC and for shareholders. Is this really as big and important as you claim it is? Uh, thank you for the question, Sean. Well, I didn't put it in the press release if I wouldn't believe it. You know, those uh, lawyers read those press releases pretty carefully. Uh, and they make sure that I want to. I'm able to back up what I say, but I'm actually going to surprise everybody, and I'm going to say on this call right now, no, it's not as big and as important as I said in the press release. It's bigger, and it's more important than I said in the press release. As I mentioned in my prepared remarks, I think this is the biggest single step forward that AMC is going to take in 2022. It essentially takes near-term survival risk off the table. You can never say never in the world. There are always uncertainties. But I believe that the flexibility that we will get from the creation of this new preferred stock will allow us to raise cash if we need it. It will allow us to reduce our debt. It will allow us to do intriguing M&A opportunities. This is a an enormous step forward for AMC. This is very good news for AMC. And we all know there are a lot of people out there in the world who are not rooting for AMC. This is not good news for them. Thanks, Adam. And um, there's actually another one that just came in uh, through the uh, Twitter. Um, it's from an international shareholder saying, will international shareholders get the chance to fully participate in this eighth dividend? The answer to that question is absolutely yes. It's one of the things that we made sure would be the case. Um, you know, one of the things that um, has bothered me over the past year and a half is that we've gone forward with lots, with lots of offers to our shareholders, uh, often through Investor Connect, but often separate and apart from Investor Connect. And often we're giving benefits at our U.S. theaters that's because we have one IT system across all of our U.S. theaters. You know, we operate in a dozen countries, and we have a different IT system and operate in, with different brand names all across Europe and the Middle East. It makes it very difficult to make global offers because we can't necessarily program it through all these disparate um, uh, uh, information systems. In addition to that, with respect to voting rights, there's something that's quite uh, um, odd to us in the United States, which is many international brokerage firms don't have the capability to facilitate shareholder voting. And so many of our international uh, shareholders are feel somewhat either disenfranchised because they're not getting the offers, you know, a free popcorn, a free icy, a free cup of coffee, um, uh, or early advanced screenings that we've offered to our U.S. Investor Connect members, or They've been deprived of their chance to vote, because they're not because we're depriving them, but because their brokers are. And so we made absolutely sure that when we issue this AMC preferred equity unit, it will go into the accounts not only of our U.S. shoulders, but our Canadian shoulders, our European shoulders, and our shareholders scattered all over the world. I, I've received so many comments on my inbound Twitter feed from so many different countries where we have AMC shareholders. I, I must say, I enjoy your devotion to our company and appreciate reading your, your comments to me. So yes, this new APE, this AMC preferred equity unit 
will be available to our international shareholders as well. Adam, I will just read the next question because I think it's quite self-explanatory here. Um, question is, says that now that the box office is recovering from the pandemic, how do you see the relationship between streaming, movie theaters, and film studios? How has it all changed compared to before the pandemic? And where do you see things going in the future? So this is not a new question or a new problem. Uh, this has been this whole issue of not streaming necessarily, but Windows and Hollywood Studios commitments of theatrical exhibition has been a live topic really ever since the summer of 2017. And we've been in active dialogue with studios um, ever since. Nothing really happened to change uh, theatrical exclusivity. Uh, with all that discussion in 2017 and 18 and 19, nothing really happened until the pandemic showed up in 2020. And just as theaters were closed, Hollywood could not distribute their movies. And so studio after studio experimented with different uh, releasing strategies of their movies they already in the can, including some other attempts away from theatrical exhibition. Some studios released films only to streaming. Some issued uh, movies to streaming and theaters simultaneously. Some issued movies to theaters, but on a much shorter basis. Well, this experiment went, went on for two years. But here's what I believe that everybody learned, especially starting with Sony's movie Spider-Man No Way Home that debuted in December of 2021. If you look at what's happened over the past eight months with Spider-Man and Uncharted and the Batman from Warner Brothers and then this big uh, range of hits, one after another after another, Doctor Strange and Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic World Dominion and Elvis and Thor and Minions, um, Hollywood has realized again how much money can be made by releasing movies in theaters exclusively first. In addition to that, it's kind of well known that the share price of some major streaming uh, companies started to take a hit and they started to lose subscribers. And there was a lot of speculation that while the market might be big enough to support one streamer or two streamers or maybe even three streamers, how could it support 10 streamers or more? And I believe that you, you take all this together and Hollywood is turning away from streaming, Wall Street is turning away from streaming, Hollywood is coming back to theatrical exhibition. We have agreements now in place with every major studio to take their movies that are released in our theaters on a theatrical basis exclusively for a sufficient period of time where we believe the studio and AMC can make money. And if that new window, which is like a month and a half of exclusive theatrical access, if that's too long, we'll be willing to shorten it with studios. And if it's not long enough, we'll be beating down the doors of studios saying to lengthen it. But you take all of it together, I think this is all very good news for AMC. We have a parade of hits on our hands uh, that either started last December or last March or last May, depending on where you want to start. And remember what I said looking forward. Uh, it is going to be a pretty tough, slow August, September. So don't don't get oh, let's not get over our skis in uh, in being too optimistic about third quarter numbers. But Look at the movies that are coming in the fourth quarter of 2022. It's going to be monster hit after monster hit after monster hit after monster hit. And if you think the box office is big in 2022, it's going to be billions of dollars more in 23 if our current estimates are accurate. Uh, so again, we're quite bullish as we look to the future. Thanks, Adam. Um, Question here 
uh, from a, a shareholder and uh, Investor Connect member saying what are the bonuses and perks that are offered by AMC uh, to its investors? Um, a lot. Well, the, the first is, uh, the first perk is we all just announced that, we, we announced that you all are getting a stock dividend in a couple of weeks. <laughs> And by the way, if I can just add to my answer about our international shareholders, you should get one too, but if you don't get one, definitely contact your broker uh, <laughs> to determine how you should get one because you are in, you're entitled to one. Um, in addition to the new stock dividend that's coming out, we did set up the AMC Investor Connect program. Uh, we got more than three quarters of a million people who've signed up in its first 13 months. Uh, that's available to U.S. and international shareholders. Uh, one of the benefits of that is frequent communication from us about what's going on. For our U.S. shareholders, look at what we've done and announced with Investor Connect. Some free offers uh, at our concession stands. We've had a new uh, sort of major movie screening every month, uh, or almost every month, in advance of its public release. Uh, in the world of movie fandom bragging rights, if you can see a, a big important movie ahead of its general release, that's good bragging rights. We've done that month after month after month. Uh, another fun one, it's a fun one for me anyway, is we've announced through Investor Connect that I, as uh, chairman and CEO of AMC, have been hosting movie screenings personally. Uh, scattered around the United States uh, for a chance to watch a movie together with our shareholders. I've done it in seven cities, LA, New York, Chicago, Kansas City, Dallas, Miami, and Washington, DC. I'm expecting to do uh, many more in the fourth quarter. And uh, I can announce today with some delight that uh, sometime between September and Christmas, I expect to hold my first overseas uh, investor screening, uh, probably in London, although it's possible we'll go somewhere else in Europe as well. Um, and you know, at these ones that I attend, I shake every hand in the room, I take a selfie picture with everybody who wants one. Uh, <laughs> I've autographed everything from shirts so I even autographed a banana. One of them. <laughs> um, it's a great opportunity to meet our shareholders individually, one-on-one. -on -one. Been seven of the happiest evenings I've had all year. We will continue to look for more ways to reward our shareholders, and especially on my plate is to figure out how to get some of these offers that we're routinely making at our U.S. theaters available to our investors overseas as well. Question, Adam, Adam about our expansion plans. Uh, question says, will we see AMC theaters in Canada, for example, or more expansion uh, within Europe? Well, in, in Europe, for sure, because as you said in your comments earlier on the call, you know, in the last couple of years, we opened 45 theaters. Um, most of those were in the U.S., but many of those were in Europe. And we keep on signing uh, agreements keep on, doing on attractive pieces of real estate to open new theaters. We just opened a theater a couple months ago in Finland that's already one of the most successful theaters in Finland. Uh, and that's true uh, that we're looking for new opportunities in all the countries that we currently serve. But for us to enter Canada, or other countries in Europe where we're not now present, you pick it, the Netherlands, Poland, um, <clears throat> wherever we may not be, um, the best way to do it is not go into a country and open a theater or two and be an irrelevant player in that country. The best way to do it would be to acquire something of some size and scale. And prior to today, uh, even though we had you know, a billion dollars of liquidity available to us at the end of this most recent second quarter, being very careful how we spend it and invest it. 
because we wanted to make sure that um, our catheters was always strong. With this new preferred stock currency that we now have, uh, we can get much more aggressive on the acquisition front. Uh, and so it's conceivable, not definite, there are no current plans, but it's conceivable no that we could do some international acquisitions. This is not a new concept to AMC or to me. All during the history of AMC, AMC has grown through acquisition. Uh, three years ago, but that, six years ago when I joined AMC, six and a half years ago, uh, in my first year we did three major acquisitions that took us from being the second largest movie theater chain in the U.S. to the largest movie theater chain in the U.S., the largest movie theater chain in Europe, and the largest movie theater chain in the world. Recently, just in the last year, we bought about a third of the Arclight Pacific Circuit, which had not reopened after the COVID pandemic. And that's going very well so far. The Grove and the Americana Theaters in LA, for example, uh, are already two of the 30 most uh, highest grossing movie theaters in the entire United States under our management. Uh, we just bought uh, five eighths of the Bowtie Cinema Circuit uh, on, in the Northeast, and that allowed us to double our presence in the state of Connecticut, which is a major a bedroom community to New York City where we have a significant market share. And already the theaters in our uh, bow tie acquisition are performing about 20% better ahead of the projections we made in our modeling when we went forward with that acquisition. So we know we're doing with acquisitions, we're good at it. And uh, now that we have a new preferred stock currency uh, to, at our disposal, uh, we'll keep our eyes open on acquisition opportunities as well. Adam, I have more investor questions, but why don't we take a moment to shift and see if there are any uh, analyst questions at this point? Absolutely. Yes, we have a question from the line of Wald with the Riley Securities. Please go ahead, your line's open. Hey, good afternoon, you guys, Eric Wald. Um, a couple of questions. I guess one, um, obviously, the, the use of this new currency to potentially uh, accelerate the deleveraging of the company and kind of um, uh, pay down some of the debt that's been taken on uh, in recent years. What, you know, aside from any new actions you may take to major acquisitions or new entities, just like the current state of the company, what do you view as the optimal leverage uh, for a company um, like yours right now, given your outlook in the next year? Eric, the optimal leverage for our company is a lot less than we're currently leveraged. Um, and um, throughout the pandemic, we've taken action to reduce debt. You may recall that in July of 2020, we did a sophisticated bond exchange where we traded equity for debt. And we wiped out, by memory, I think it was $555 million of debt with the stroke of a pen, gone. Uh, similarly, just a few weeks ago, we announced that in the second quarter, uh, uh, or July, I forget the actual day. I know we announced it. I forget the actual day we bought the debt. I think it was in the second quarter. Um, that we uh, bought $72.5 million worth of debt for $50 million, got a 31% discount on that debt. Now, $72 million out of $5 billion is like a drop in the ocean. But being able to get our debt back at a 31% discount, that was, that was certainly a good day for AMC. And just as we did a sophisticated bond exchange uh, in the summer of 2020, if we have debt holders who would like to give us our uh, uh, debt back at a discount in exchange for AMC stock, that is a great trade for our shareholders. Uh, similarly, you know, uh, you all have asked us on previous calls about the deferred rent obligations that we took on with landlords, theater landlords, where we owe rent from calendar year 2020 or 2021 
this year, next year, year 2024, and in the future. We've already been in contact with several land, uh, landlords who said that they wouldn't mind getting paid early and they wouldn't mind getting paid early at a discount that we could swing it, but we, we've been very mindful of holding on to our cash hoard, that war chest as I described it, uh, because we wanted to make sure that we were always fundamentally in a strong position uh, with liquidity at, at our, our side. But we now have a, a preferred stock currency that we might be able to use to reduce some of that those landlord obligations, again, at a discount. You know, how quickly we can delever, Eric, I, I don't, you know, this is only, we're in the first hour of having this new currency at our disposal. So I'm not sure we can give you an exact number how much debt we can bring down, uh, you know, over the next three months, six months, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. What I can tell you, is that we're a pretty creative management team. Uh, we've taken on a whole host of challenges since 2020. And uh, uh, strengthening our balance sheet uh, and getting a better uh, 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 debt to EBITDA leverage ratio is very much in our in our ballywick. Uh, so uh, it should happen. Uh, and we'll be able to report more to you as we ourselves learn more. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, Congrats. There are no We're further questions. Go. Sorry, operator. <clears throat> uh, there are no further questions from the analysts. But we're going to go back to Sean. Do you have any last ones from our shareholder base? Uh, yes, I do. Um, let me. Uh, Take a quick look here. There is a question here. Um, I think I'll just cover three more quick questions um, from the three shareholders. Three questions. Um, there's a question here about Highcroft and what is your timeline for the investment and are there any anticipated interactions between Highcroft and AMC? So uh, there's a, um, a Highcroft. Um, I am so convinced that, that when the story is finally written. This is going to be a good one for AMC. Um, I put out a kind of macho tweet a few months back that said, when the dust all settles, there'll be a lot of crow eating about the high crop investment. I wasn't going to be the one eating crow. I still believe that to be the case, uh, in part because high crop has raised all the cash it needs to stay in business for years and years and years. Uh, second, in terms of our interaction with Highcroft, I hear that Highcroft has picked up a very smart new member of its board of directors. That would be you, Sean. Uh, oh. Sean Goodman, our CFO, is now a member of the Highcroft board. But uh, third, um, one of the things that was so intriguing about Highcroft is it operates on 71,000 acres of land in northern Nevada that's mineral rich. And it had only explored in the 40 years, it was around 2% of its 71,000 acres. Gold and silver doesn't just exist in a small place. It spreads. Um, and uh, Highcroft just announced, in part because of the cash, not in part, because of the cash that we enabled it to raise, um, Highcroft just announced that it's starting the biggest exploration program of more of its land than it has done in a decade. And while we won't know what the results of that exploration will be until they do it, uh, you and I are hopeful that they will find a lot more uh, mineral reserves that should be quite lucrative. As far as the timeline for the investment, we got in at a great low market price. We got an amount of warrants in the same quantity as um, the number of shares that we bought. So we basically double our economics without having to put up double the cash. Uh, and when we went into Highcroft, we didn't do it for a 90-day hit. If we wanted to do a 30-day or 90-day hit, we could have you know, doubled our money in a couple of weeks. 
But that's not why we entered into the High Cross investment. We think there's much more there ahead for us. So I think our timeline with High Cross is sort of like a private equity firm. Hold it for two to seven years and see what kind of value we can create for AMC shareholders sometime in that timeline is when I would expect. We know we got in. That's when I would expect we would get out, some number of years from now. And a question here about AMC's growth initiatives. The person says, I'm particularly interested in branded merchandise, retail popcorn, credit card, NFTs, and alternative content. You know, I tried to mention it in my prepared remarks and in the interest of time. I'm just going to say quickly that we're making progress on each of these fronts. I gave some timing in my earlier comments. You know, I think whether it's our popcorn business, our credit card business, our merchandise business, you're going to see increasing activity beginning in the second half of this year and the first half of next year on all fronts. And the final question that I will ask this afternoon is investors are asking for an update on our green initiatives. So, you know, the buzzword in the corporate world these days is ESG, and the E stands for environment. And with good reason. Many of us are quite concerned about what's happening to the climate on this planet. Here in the Midwest of the United States, it was over 100 degrees for a lot of time over the last few weeks. That's hot. And it would behoove all of us to respect our planet if we'd like our kids and our grandkids to have a planet to live on. The laser projection announcement that we made is not a small announcement. It represents putting in a quarter of a billion dollars of new projectors into our theaters. And the benefits are numerous. One, of course, is that for movie going, it's going to make for much better movie going. It increases the light levels on screen by 50 to 100 percent. Makes pictures brighter, sharper, clearer, crisper. Moviegoers are going to love it. But environmentalists should like it, too, because laser projectors consume far less electricity. And we have thousands of them, and they operate, you know, half the day, 24-7. Or not 24-7, but seven days a week. And they take a lot less energy. And a little known factor of our current 10-year-old projection technology is that they use halogen bulbs. And halogen bulbs burn out. And they burn out often. And so they need to be replaced, which happens to be expensive. And laser lights don't burn out any time as quickly as halogen bulbs. But once you have a burned out halogen bulb, guess what you do with it? You put it in a landfill. And I think I'm told it has a half-life of about 5 trillion years. That's not really true. But the point is not having to discard. I mean, it is true that they got a long half-life. It's just not 5 trillion years. But not having to discard halogen bulbs is very good for the planet. We consume less energy. It's an expensive step for AMC. But it's a good one environmentally, and it's a good one for moviegoers. So I think you said that was your last question, and I'm going to wrap. Yeah, and I'm going to wrap. To all of you listening today, thank you for your affection and your passion for AMC Entertainment. We've been listening to all the things you've been telling us for the last year and a half. We've taken a lot of actions that reflect your thinking. And we took one today with the creation of apes that will trade on the New York Stock Exchange in just a few weeks under the symbol APE. 
it's an enormous, enormous positive step for AMC. We're thrilled that we're doing it. We think you should be thrilled that we're doing it. Uh, over the long haul, we know that this company will benefit. Uh, and so this is a very good day at AMC because today we did pounce. Thank you, one and all. We're signing off. We pounce. This is concludes call for today. We thank you for your participation. I say please disconnect your line. Amazing. Wow, that's what a pounce looks like. Everybody, has everyone, has everyone landed safely? <laughs> has everyone put their seat in an upright tray position? Um, so uh, I have a lot to, I have a lot to condense, and we have actually a couple of Adam Aaron tweets to go through. As he was, as he had the break, when the CFO had a chance to talk, he was tweeting six or seven parts out of his. 12 part tweet uh and um and meatball had a beautiful smile on the whole time well, the first thing is what do you guys, how do you guys feel do you, do you guys feel something <laughs> in your heart do you feel like it was trillions of years long uh do you feel like some other funny things that he said i wish i can re uh, remember all of them but if you guys remember anything funny just write it down right now because it, it was pretty funny uh 500 million new AMC preferred equity units trade on the New York Stock Exchange with the symbol APE. I mean, this is what he said during the call. You will get one APE tax-free as a stock dividend for each one AMC common share you own. At least for now, this big news today is not dilution as the AMC preferred equity unit dividends all go and only go to the existing owners of this company issued common shares. Okay. So what he's trying to say is that if there is this big piece of the flo the float, the float is just the, no the amount of stocks that exist out in the universe that we as normal people can buy, this much stock is a symbol of how much value the company has a percentage of that value. Now if you then say, okay, actually I'm going to do a two for one stock split and make it so that every single, oh you guys can't see float. Load. Side. It's a two for one stocks, but then you have twice as much float, which symbolizes the same amount of value. Okay, that's still, that still makes sense. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. What if I said, all right, I want the same amount of value, <laughs> but I wanted to make it over here. <laughs> I want to make two circles instead. <laughs> this float, this float is the same value. This float, all the value entirely. I heard that some people said, um, that it was gonna be a penny? Did he say this? Maybe we'll maybe if we keep reading, if we keep going up and reading, maybe he'll he'll get to it. Uh hold on a second. Not pounce enough. What was he talking about 3D chess? Oh my god, he was that 3D chess thing never came up. He was not talking about 3D movies at all. BTS Sandwich is still here. Kristen Gala, how's it going? P Paul Steven, Space Ape, uh oh god. Ooh, okay, next one. Uh, so each of your AMC shares after the dividend, you instead will own one AMC common share and one A. Logic says the share price will be will fall. Why would he even include this part? That's what I'm. That's just the only problem. Okay, if you if you think this whole thing is bullish, I I uh, I haven't disagreed yet. But then why did he have to be like the caveat? Anyway, candidly, I've been. I've seen no evidence so-called fake or synthetic shares exist. Uh-oh. Uh, but then here comes the twist. Many of you disagree. This preferred equity dividend goes only to company-issued shares, so it will have the impact of a share count or unique dividend. I've sought. Okay, so this is both a blessing and a boon. Boon and a bane. Boon and a bane. Seven. We are also giving a free I own Ape NFT to all existing AMC Investor Connect members, uh, and then you will get another I own AMC NFT, which is pretty cool. He says you can also. I'm not sure if that means you will get it or you can also <laughs> just get it as well. Um, Tom Potty Horrible Gaming says uh, Adam Aaron basically just doubled the amount of shares hedge funds owe. That's one way to that's one way to interpret it. 
The, the thing is that I believe he's directly saying that this is the count, okay? This is the, like, the, like the unique share count that a bunch of us wanted. Then you go in here. And so what does, because they're not the same ticker. They're a completely different chunk. Uh, but I will look into it. So, for sure, talk says clap, clap, clap. I do, I do like the way that he said, um, Wakanda forever. <laughs> so, hopefully, you already subscribed at that point. I knew he was going to talk about that movie. Uh, well, I have a lot to summarize. I'm going to put out a video later. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please do make sure to remember that uh, treat it goes a long way. That's why when you go and hit that like button right now because you enjoyed part of this broadcast, you thought it was entertaining, or you liked the Professor Meatball in it, that means that you care. And finally, those of you who have always been a loyal member of the Moon Platoon, having that press that join button next to that subscribe button. You, if you haven't yet, it's, it has a couple of perks, including getting access to that six-figure portfolio I was giving out during trivia. And it, as again, we will have trivia again. We will be giving out more giveaways in the near future. Go ahead and. But now, but not for forever, I'll see all of you. after stream. Okay, bye.